Let me out now. Return of the smooth operator. Shady on repeat. I say sleep later. This another favor. Consider me your neighbor. Lost a lot of fam in pursuit of the paper. She gon' catch the vapors when we slide by. The way I speak my mind, it's like I peak my prime, but I ain't close. I cruise through the night air. Fantasy a dream. Real world is a nightmare. Like Claire Battle in the brainless. Learn to live shameless. Talk about me a lot, but claim that I'm nameless. You aimless. So I'ma style on them. They washed up. It's a wrap. Throw the tile on them. Gaining miles on them. Old tacos for the win. Tide goes at the pen on a move that I'm in like Finn when it's time for adventure. This some new blue. Get ready to enter my mind for a few. Come and take a ride with the crew. I'ma show you how to recoup days lost when you vibe with the blue. Uh, come vibe with the blue. Yeah. About time to regroup. Fly, got my eyes on the view. Never hear lies, only truth. Realize why they vibe with the blue. Uh, vibe with the blue. Wait, you know the rest. I'm blessed. I see you fronting like you ain't impressed, but I still get requests. I'm playing Zelda on the GameCube. I quit spamming my music. Don't ever try forcing the links. That's a high rule. The wind wake of Mother Nature on my side too, controlling the elements. Go and check my avatar. I'm arrows ahead. Get the point moving forward. The battle scars accumulated over time. All reminders of what I went through as a mind. The trees broke down for this loose leaf. If life's a game of death, I'm mostly away. Loose sleep on the regular, trying to get this word out. Then I crash nebula. Wish I had a fairy eye parent, maybe two, but it's cool. Everybody pays dues. Now it's time to make moves. Granny didn't raise me to lose. Think I'm in the mood for a cruise. Wanna why I come and vibe with the blue? Vibe with the blue. Come vibe with the blue. Vibe with the blue. with the blue. Check this out, y'all. Back spasm like the elderly. Worth of my cousin Beverly. Never swear away from the truth. Just ask Heather. Be weather, be tripping. Strong and look control like our destiny. Always give you the best of me until the death of me. My weaponry is a paintbrush. Hush. Don't tell my secret. They get a hold of you. If you leak it, get it. Got you covered though, look. But let me get back to that cool ish, Lucius. Why they still lying? They don't do this. Bad at board games, whole world clueless. Selling their soul for Ruth Chris. Who's this on a fella? Need a slice, extra mozzarella. Crew, <laughs> <laughs> they got born like they don't trust fun. Why you guys to tell her? You don't know, but my eyes are better. Life's a gamble, depending on who holding the cards. You can start living at large or it's bon voyage. Charge it to the game. Me and you ain't the same. I'm thinking bigger pictures. Why you still? Shrinking the frame, ever blinking the rain. Uh, it helps when your eyes dry. Mob with the bright minds. Think you funny, wise guy? <laughs> Midnight Marauder with a new tribe. Tired of the fake. Come and vibe with the blue sky. <laughs> Come and vibe with the blue sky. Why okay. do you try? We get them high. Uh, take them high. Yeah. What I do? Come and vibe with the blue. Yeah. Come and vibe with the blue. Ask what up? Vibe with the. I have seen everything that has ever happened, ever will happen, ever could happen, and yet, what the hell is this? Are you ready? Give a damn about a hater when I feel like it. Not today, not today, not today, not tomorrow, get out my way, please, I'm trying to get paid. Not today, not today, not today, not tomorrow, get out my way, please, I'm trying to get paid. 27 years. Yeah. I ain't gone for 20 years.
<laughs> what is up, Earth's mightiest subscribers? It's your boy, Ernie. Blur without fear. Waiting on uh, the homie Robo to get out of the water closet, uh, as they say, overseas. <laughs> so for right now, you're stuck with just me. Uh, but welcome to episode 18 of the Nerds of Culture podcast, and I still don't have a lead in for this, so we're just going to run with it. So for right now, I'll just kind of give you the lowdown on what you can expect uh, out of this episode. Uh, well, for one, uh, we're going to be talking about the... Uh, the docu series that was on HBO, uh, or rather Max. I, don't, I keep wanting to call it HBO Max. Like uh, ten years from now, I'll still be calling it HBO Max, and it will probably have changed its name yet again. It'll just be like App is what it'll be called. Uh, <laughs> actually, speaking of, um, close my door. Uh, yeah, because that's a thing. Um, but yeah, there we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about the aftermath. There's a lot of stuff that's come out since. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the, um, there was an interview, uh, that was done by, oh, speak of the devil. Uh, there is a, uh, interview that was done by a former, uh, associate, of uh Dan Snyder's I kind of want to take a quick look at. We're probably not going to play we're not going to play the whole thing obviously, but like you know we'll we'll definitely take a look at it. And um yeah, yeah. Um we'll be looking at that uh also Ed Pisker. Is that how you say his last name? I don't know. Uh yeah, we'll be we'll be taking a little look at some some chicanery that came up involving uh, his ass. And uh, yeah, Nelson Peltz also out here fucking up, uh, trying to mess up the bag. And yeah, there's there's a lot. We got a lot to talk about. Uh, Robo, are you, uh, you you here? OK, he's here. He's here. He he he. Uh, he oh, wait, yep, I got to I got to shrink you down. You, you, you were you were too ready. You were too excited. <laughs> you were too excited to be here. And see, see, that's what happens, man. You, you get on those panel discussions and then you just, you, you just, you don't know how to act. Messed up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, you yeah, get on these bad. panels. I'm going to tell, <laughs> tell you, there's something, there's something I learned in my, as I, as I get older in life. <laughs> I'm not even a hand of that pizza like I used to. Oh, no. anyway. Don't do it. <laughs> Look, man, let me, let me tell you right now, man. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> don't 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 uh don't 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 do that to yourself, man. Don't don't just just, just no. I've 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 been in a a similar um a similar boat because I used to I used to be I used to be a little like man, y'all eat me like eat me a whole pizza by myself, and I and like now man. not no more. Not you know, no and mo. you know what's and you know what's wild? You know what's <laughs> wild is is that. I am literally the biggest I've ever been in my whole life, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting about 270-ish, right? I, I fluctuate between 270 and 280. And right now, two or three pieces of pizza, man, I'm, I can't breathe, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, when I was like 220, sure. I'll, kill, I'll kill a whole bag of chips, kill a whole bag. Wait a minute. Oh, now I know why I'm 280 now. Yeah, <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Oh, it's Damn. all making sense now. <laughs> it was me the whole time. No, um, no, I I feel that on so many levels because, well, for one, uh, I have recently been kind of recognizing that you know, like, yeah, because you do things out of habit, you do mm -hmm. stuff out of habit. Like for me, I remember when I would go to McDonald's. Like I've been ordering the same thing for McDonald's like for the last like I don't know how long. And then one day I looked up and realized, I was like, you know, I don't have to order that anymore. I was like, dude, I can order less. It's okay. Like, I used to, like, yeah. just, I was like, I, I shouldn't be eating. Like, I, I used to be that motherfucker that would order, like, some extra fries. Uh, yeah. Or, or I, 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 I don't want the double cheeseburger. I want the triple cheeseburger. Yeah. I don't need that no more, yeah. man. I don't need, like, like, I have to catch myself. I was like, ooh, I ordered way too much food. 
I'm when you good. first did it though, did you like? Did you feel, after you were done? You're like, I feel like something's missing in my life. Like, yeah, I'll yeah. be all right. I'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not even hungry. No, you know, mine is my shit. That Let me tell you memory. something. You know how people always talk shit about like a couple things. Arby's. I like Arby's. Mm. When people make memes about like who the fuck's eating Arby's still, I'm like. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. There's a there's a mean ass RDC world uh, skit about Arby's that I just I just fucking oh, love. Real? Oh yeah, I, I, I'll I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you because you, you'll you'll dig it the most. Uh, but the other one is the filet fish. Ooh, Who's the hell's buying filet fish? This guy. This guy. This guy. And it's always like on the side. I don't buy a combo. I buy whatever combo I want. And my wife already knows. Like, oh, what do you want? It's a you know a Big Mac or or quarter pound or whatever. Okay, we want a quarter pounder yeah. combo, fries, and a filet fish. Big Mac, fries, Coke, filet fish. Philly, you gotta have the oh, yeah. fish. <laughs> wait, wait. So, like, basically, you treat the filet fish the way the South treats spaghetti. Like, there spaghetti ain't a main go, yeah. dish, it's a side. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like you get a barbecue sandwich, some coleslaw, and some, some uh, barbecue beans. And some spaghetti on the side. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I had no idea until I went in, into my adult life <laughs> that having like a meat and three different starches was not normal. I did not know that. Bro, I'll like, be out here with, with mashed potatoes, rice, and chicken. I'm like, mashed potatoes and rice? I'm like, like you sure? Yeah. I mean, yeah. the stuffing's almost done. Why? You want some? <laughs> <laughs> Look, let me tell you something. There is nothing that told my wife quicker that I do not care about the sanctity of having a vegetable. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you know uh, how to say a vegetable, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> like I'm the type of when I cook, I will smooth uh, make you a like like what was it the other day? Uh, we 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 had the last grill. On the mm-hmm. charcoal grills, last grill, it actually turned out really well. But we did like some short ribs. Uh, but let me tell you something: when it came time to pick them sides, I was like, "Yeah, yeah we get some mashed potatoes." Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. I, oh, let's get some corn on the cob. <laughs> like, like that was the closest <laughs> corn on the cob was the closest you was gonna get. <laughs> that's the vegetable. I don't care. That's yeah. a, that's a whole ass vegetable. <laughs> you might poop my hole, but. They, I don't know. I mean, it, hey, it, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, balanced meal. Fuck out of here. We're talking about a balance. Hey, since we're talking, since we're talking food, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. You go out to a restaurant, right? And chat, chat, chime in. Let me know. You go out to a restaurant. You got food. What are your thoughts when the, when the guy comes back through and says, does anybody have room for dessert? What, what are you thinking? I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about an interaction. Uh, I can tell you about a specific interaction I literally had last night. Okay. Uh Cersei got her report card, of course, straight A's. Uh nice. you know. I like I like how you play, of course. Of course, yeah, yeah. Of course. She's a smart kid. She's a smart kid. Uh, that's my baby girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's my girl. Yeah, she 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 gets yeah. great. So, like, yeah, you know, she but but at the same time, I'm also about to talk some shit. Cause okay. she is such a little I don't want to call her a basic bitch because it's going to make it sound like I'm terrible <laughs> father, but fuck it. I'm going to say it. I've already said it. She kind of a basic I mean, bitch. She's seven, right? She's eight. Years she's eight. Old, so she, 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 okay, she, no, she's old enough. No, she's, yeah, old, she's old enough. Okay. Yeah, she's old enough. Yeah, yeah. But no, <laughs> she loves Olive Garden. Okay. I don't know why. All right. Like, it just, I, I think she loves Olive Garden a lot. I think she just likes the idea of being at a restaurant. I don't think it. I don't. I don't know. Maybe. I, whatever. Point it's of like matter. Fancy is, to her. Yeah. Yeah. That's fancy. Yeah. Uh-huh, she thinks uh-huh, it's fancy. Uh-huh. So right. she she comes to me yesterday. She's like, Dad, can you take me to Olive Garden for my report card? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, all right. I was like, all right, guys, go put shoes on. Mm-hmm. And um, so we go to Olive Garden. We have our dinner, or whatever. And the young lady who's taking our order, serving us, whatever. She comes back. She's like, like you just said, you save room for dessert. So let me tell you how our fat asses rock. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, man, I kind of do want some cheesecake, man. Mm-hmm. Here comes my wife. Now we stop it for milkshakes at Baskin Robbins. 
and and probably a third of the cost too right yeah <laughs> i'm saying yeah i'm just no, here's saying why I, <laughs> here's why i asked though yeah i never get dessert oh but it's not because it's it's still for fat boy reasons <laughs> my my mantra when it comes to food is mm. if i have room for dessert mm. I didn't eat enough at the main course. Like I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. I want I'm with you. more of that. Like, I'm like, do you want a cheesecake? I'm like, cheesecake sounds good, but I'm gonna finish this other half of this ribeye, and I'm not. <laughs> then I'm not gonna have really. You know what I'm, I'm not gonna. My man eater in the chat. Hey, what's up, man eater? Um. Oh yeah, yeah. She'll be the type to like. I'm gonna save this ribeye for later, and I'm like, why? Oh, because I want. She'll like, not eat the whole thing. Because that's how much she wants dessert. Got Me, you. I'm like, Got I'm you. eating this. I'm eating. I eat yours too. No, Here, I respect put my that. dessert in it to go. <laughs> so, you know what? And see, that's the thing. I used to think I was weird for that. Uh, mm. a, a, a young lady I used to work with when I was still doing like retail. Her and I had a very similar mentality. Because we would always talk about like, man, yeah, dessert's good and all, but. Man, honestly, I just kind of want some more steak, like, or, or, or some more ribs, or, mm. you know, some, like, what was it? There's a burger joint around here. I was like, man, honestly, I just go, you just give me another burger. Like, like they do the big ass fucking, like, super duper fancy, like, gourmet house burgers. I was like, yeah. bro, I, I was like, man, give me another. Like, what? There's a place around here called Belly Acres. You can get, like, just big ass fucking burger or whatever. I was like, yeah, can I get another one of the Belly Acre burgers? Cause, uh, yeah. I, I, no, no, I don't need no ice cream. I don't want no cake. Can I just have another sandwich? Like tops. What. I'll get another barbecue Every sandwich. Now then, <laughs> Every now and then I get a little itch. And I'm like, all right, you know what? Get my sexy back. Let's do it. It's like wake up. Go. I'm gonna hit the treadmill. I'm gonna track my food. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back in it. And then we have talks like this. I'm like, mm. <laughs> Maybe next week. <laughs> hey, don't forget to add a filet of fish. Add a yeah. fillet fish. <laughs> 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 Man, either quick too. She's like, I thought you were tracking. I'll track that too. Oh we'll just be over today, you know. <laughs> Bruh, I, I, I'm <laughs> legit. I'm, I'm right there with you. I like, like, <laughs> bruh, hundred, hundred and ten million percent uh well I, I guess you know now now that we've got everybody in the chat hungry <laughs> yeah now that we got everybody in the chat hungry you know because that, that's what we do here uh that's what we do here on the uh uh, uh that because that's part of the culture that's definitely part of the culture so yeah you gotta have oh, yeah. that yeah but oh, yeah. uh oh this, <laughs> man either you are out of pocket <laughs> just, just, <laughs> fuck i forgot to say what i wanted i'm starting up here oh wait on D, on db DVD, bro, no, don't, don't, hey. man eater. Why you doing send, it? Why you doing it? Send me a postcard. <laughs> send me a postcard. Tell me how it was. <laughs> See, I'm not gonna lie. You know what? They almost got my ass. Like they, like, uh, so if those don't know, we're talking about. We're talking about Dead by Daylight. Mm -hmm. I used to be super duper mega ultra in uh, Dead by Daylight. Robo, same. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ever so often, they'll release some new shit because it's like, dude, it's like when I said I was done. They're like, hey, man. Aliens. We and put aliens, aliens in there. Like, yeah. Like, oh. It was like, hey, dude, Ripley. Ripley in the gang. Like, you you sure? Yeah. I was like, Chucky. Yeah, they did Chucky. I was like, oh, Chucky in the gun. Yeah. Like, I almost, my finger was literally on the left mouse button. And I had it over install. And I was like, Ugh. see, but for me, but then I was like, no. Is, as soon as I'm about to do that, because mm -hmm. you're right. So I get that too, right? I'm like, all right, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna just play for a little bit, and then I remember. Oh, I'm not gonna even be able to play. I gotta go buy the the ten dollar DLC. Fuck that shit. Yeah, nah, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm <laughs> well, like no, if they give me like a free weekend or something like that, I'd be. I would. I would do it. And see, the thing is, it was something because I remember Carter told me about this a ways back, talking about how they used to do where you could like use your. Uh, I think it was like it wasn't. I don't know if it was rift shards or like the little BS currency oh, they give you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, use yeah, it to yeah. rent a character, like to try him out. I don't know why they don't do that anymore. That new? Oh, that's old. No, that okay. was old. That's like old. Like that, that that's 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 pre-even me playing DBD. 
Um, mm. But no, uh, I heard, I don't know if I heard this correctly, but I believe they're putting Slipknot in the game. <laughs> because reasons? I was like... They put Slipknot before Terrifier? I'm offended. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm offended. I'm like, bro, first off... I mean, that's I good, what, I don't have to get Slipknot, but... No, on. I love Slipknot. <laughs> but like, mm-hmm. here's the thing. Now, they put Terrifier in the game? All right, I'm coming oh, back. I'm I'll be like, I'm look... Playing. Look, and here's the thing. I'm not going to play Survivor because I already know what time it is. Y'all ain't about to have me sit yeah. up here getting camped on the That's hook. Good. You, That's like, good. off rip by Art the Clown. No. But I tell you what I will do. I tell you what I, I tell you is what I will do. What I will no. do is I will start playing Killer again, and I will be camping motherfuckers on the hook. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm saying. I'm saying. Well, <laughs> so she, said, like, she oh, said they got her. Oh. They said, she said they got her. They got her. We got to get the crew back. <laughs> She's like, you know, she's like, she's like that, uh, like that dude coming out of retirement. Like, I'll do this. There's only one way I'll agree to do this. I picked the crew. Yeah. And then into the montage, she goes back <laughs> one person at a time. Like, you Put son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Getting the band back together. <laughs> and it was like, it is some like weird, like, like strange guitar solo score background yep. i was like dude okay yeah like, like like is this is this the, is this just the expendables it sounds like the plot of the expendables that's, that's what it, it sounds expendables. like what uh, they did it in uh what's the last uh what's that guy the, the dude zach zach uh i almost said zach efron uh the dude who did the justice league's uh oh zach snyder yeah they, they zach snyder, did that, yeah, yeah they did that shit with rebel moon <laughs> well, no, no, the uh, the one with the zombie, what's the zombie movie? Oh, Army of the Dead. Yeah, Army of the Army of yeah. the Dead had to go get the helicopter pilot. She even did. You son of a bitch! Yeah. I'm, like, so, I'm not gonna lie to you, and I feel attacked every time I see shit like that because that's kind of how I address people sometimes when I haven't seen them in a yeah. long time. Because I'm yeah. like, son of a bitch, you bastard! <laughs> Where the hell are you? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> look, I stereotypes exist for a reason uh we also yeah, got <laughs> we also got gabriel the dark knight out here says happy friday junior everyone this is exactly what i need to help me finish working on my project loving the show hey we appreciate you Pim. thank you for coming That's in what's up. yeah uh and, and we don't want to be too much of a distraction but i am gonna have to hit you with that <clears throat> 1999 <laughs> super chat Got, got to give you that. So yeah, look, I, I you yeah, uh, now now uh, now don't work too hard. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I, I, I did yeah. I, I did DM you, but I'm asking this out loud because you're not looking at your DMs. Keep it on uh, your virtual cam. Oh, <laughs> my bad, dude. Because I can't bad. see you, so I'm just kind of like That's looking at the wall. True. <laughs> I'm a yeah, I'm a disembodied voice to you right now, ain't I? That's right. That's that right. Bitch? Here, hold but on. I'm I like got Penny, you. I'm looking at you, so it don't look like I'm I'm like just like uh huh yeah. I'm listening. Whatever. It's like no 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 no. You good? You good? Yeah yeah yeah. No, I can see you. Hold, let me. Uh, I got you. I'm a I'm a I'm a turn it on. I got you. Let bad, me. Bad, it, it's gonna bad. be it's gonna be weird for a couple of seconds because it's gonna do like the weird uh. It's gonna do the weird uh um, stuttering and all that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's gonna do all that. It's about. gonna do all that that Man, I'll tell you what, you you uh you picked all the topics this week. And I'll tell you what, usually we the collab, like, hey, let's talk about this, let's talk about this. Okay, let's talk about this. Er- Ernie just came in like, it's a packed week. Here's what we're talking about. And this week Ernie woke up and chose violence. I'm like I We're calling everyone out. Fuck oh, everyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, <laughs> well, no, because it was funny because I think it, if I'm not mistaken, I think it all started on a Monday. It was either Monday or Tuesday, one of the two. Mm. But it was just the sky opened up and every problematic motherfucker just fell. Like, you remember the, uh, um, like, the, the summer blockbuster movie trope of the big giant light in the sky and the, the bad guys have to, like, um, the bad guys have to, you know, come and, uh, uh, you know, just shut down the giant light. Uh huh. That's what, yeah. That that's basically what this week was. This week was that. It was everybody falling out that fucking light in the sky. Um. <laughs> so I I mentioned some of this earlier, but you know, we're we're gonna go ahead and uh uh you know jump. Uh, right into it. Also, uh, 
I'm going to say right now, I, I apologize for those that didn't get any uh, notification of this. I'm literally just now even uh, 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 bringing this up because uh, did you put out a tweet earlier? Just I the, didn't know. Oh, but then I, I got then I got yeah. it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. And but I'll, no, I'll just retweet you from the other side. Then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Look, see teamwork, man. Teamwork making. Teamwork. Yes, sir. No, we're uh, uh, I love how also as uh, as I'm actually looking for us, it like it gives me when I type in like at nerds, it gives me every nerds of like motherfuckers. I don't even follow. <laughs> before like i gotta type out the whole thing before it's like oh before yeah it gives it the one that you actually follow yeah, yeah the one that actually <laughs> that follows I, you a mutual yeah a mutual why, why, why would they bring that up first hmm, yeah, it's like i don't know it's crazy uh but no midnight midnight you ain't shit <laughs> <laughs> oh wait hold on i gotta i gotta get back over so i can see this oh uh, <laughs> but uh here let's uh let's go okay so the tweet is up and i guess yeah i should probably also maybe ping the discord i don't know uh these are all things i probably should do but have not done i apologize people i am a terrible person and uh you probably already knew this um <laughs> but that said let's uh I think I think it's I think it's safe to say we can now uh get into uh get into our shit proper. But uh, so basically I said earlier top of the hour uh we are going to be talking about the docu series that hit Max. Um quiet on set and man okay so this was something everybody was talking about it Everybody was talking about it. Quiet on set. Everybody's like, oh my God, dude, quiet on set. Dude, it's wild. It's out of pocket, man. He's beautiful. They do all kind. They talk about all kind of crazy shit. Like, I, I remember hearing about it. And I think I, dude, this just shows you how crazy it is. I normally don't watch mm -hmm. uh, Good Morning America, GMA, whatever the hell they call it. But like, mm -hmm. I, the, a clip of it appeared on my YouTube feed. And I was like, I was like, I saw the, the, the people that were being interviewed on Good Morning America. I was like, I knew those. I was like, the motherfuckers from all that. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. The season yeah. I didn't watch. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's I apologize. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I I, I talk my shit, but I'm a I'm a keep it. I'm a keep it. I'm a keep it real with you, pimp. I'm gonna keep it super fucking real. I fucked with all that for at least a oh, season. Yeah. For at least oh, a yeah. season, y'all. If y'all don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, like boom, right there. Uh, oh, wow. I forgot. Yeah, dude, this shows that we haven't used this in a while because you are mad large and not <laughs> cropped on this motherfucker. Uh, here, let me, let me, let me, let me get you hooked up. Let me get you. I got 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 you. Here, let's, 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 That's good. That's good, though, because usually we're like, you know, talking about like, where, where's uh, Chris, but we haven't had to use this two one in a long ass time. That is true. <laughs> so that, that, that shows progress. That shows progress. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um but yeah dude i used to fuck with this show like some fears yeah some fears yeah. like 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 this was my every fucking saturday uh every saturday mm -hmm. i was like dude yeah i was like i'm i'm watching I i'm watching all that. that that's that's just what you do that, that that's yeah, not looking a looking at this picture is like you definitely look at it different after watching that damn uh documentary bro it matter right here let me zoom let me let me give us a little bit of uh, extra zoom in on this too but yeah no i man let me tell you something i mainline the whole uh i think the docu series like 43 minutes an episode like four episodes total uh -huh. i watched the whole thing in one sitting and i'm not gonna lie i kind of wish i didn't because once it was over i immediately needed to seek a mental health professional because i was like bro i feel like oh, yeah. my shit just got rocked i know and it, it, it was funny is well before we continue you want to yeah. uh read uh midnight midnight monarchy's deal because yeah, you know, yeah 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 we got uh here boom 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 uh we got this bam the homie out here midnight monarchy with the <clears throat> first off 1999 dun, 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 dun. Then in a super chat says, let's keep this debate civil this evening. Robo and blurred <laughs> guys rock my last night. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I will say if, uh, uh, if you don't know, uh, if you don't know by now, we're going to make sure that you know today. Uh, so, uh, Robo, you recently resumed, 
uh your regular streaming schedule this week uh yeah, yeah, and yeah. and uh just this just yesterday last night first first panel first you panel. did your first yeah dude first panel he popped yeah, his panel yeah. cherry that sounds crazy to say out loud <laughs> now, that now that i've uh you know what here let me um danger danger, danger. there you go I, there you go i'm uh i'm gonna hit that and uh yeah so you did that and uh if you guys missed it for whatever reason uh there are links there are links in the description below uh you can go to robo's channel either on youtube or twitch and uh you can go uh get caught up there's some uh some really good stuff uh going on in there so uh make sure you know it, it's uh you get the hit that subscribe button the little taco bell looking bell click on that and and yeah there you go it was a good it was a good time <laughs> I, I, I i feel like i had fun but i feel like Y'all in the chat were having way more fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we were. We you, were. Manita, Midnight Monarchy, <laughs> Sick Thing, Egg, uh, Elite X, yeah. everybody was in there just going off, and I was just like, oh yeah. God. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, you know what? I said if the, if these motherfuckers actually come over here and, and kind of like start eyeballing your chat, they're gonna think we're terrible people because we <laughs> I, were cooking. Loki, uh, a little nervous because I was like, I know y'all are mostly playing this shit. Yeah, mostly. <laughs> Man yeah, mostly. <laughs> Bad either one. No, for real. no. Just, she's like, don't no. put words in my mouth. I'm not. I'm not gonna even say I was playing. Don't, don't, don't say that. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I was like, come on. This was supposed to be. We're supposed to be. It's supposed. We're cool. We're cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. When they started talking about unga bunga, I started wondering. I was like, is this racial? I was like, y'all talking I about almost us. Said yeah, I almost like, said something. I almost said something. I was like, okay, they're talking about like caveman. Yeah. Like, I was. I was like, y'all talking about us? Because. Yeah, Cause, yeah, cause, yeah, yeah. We, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is that what? You... I okay, heard it. No, okay. I heard it. Yeah, no, no, I no, 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 no. But no, I, I love it too because uh, there were a couple of moments where you would the like not say anything, but you would do something, and mm. there there were a couple of moments where like Banner be like, oh yeah, yeah, no, that was his. That was his. He's getting annoyed. He's getting annoyed. Laugh. That's his. That's his, his getting annoyed. Laugh. Or I'd be like, I'm like, oh, that stance right there. Oh yeah, he's done. He's done. He's done with this part oh, of the conversation. Up. He said, <laughs> like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a go with. I saw that in the chat yeah. too. You know what it did? It made me. It made me like. I'm like, because I was like this, and I started like my ADHD starts kicking in. I'm just like. I saw your chat. I was like, you could tell this dude don't give a fuck anymore. I'm like, okay. I look like that. I'm like. Ah. Well, I, I, I was I'm like, I was like, he he about to turn on Dragon's Dog, but too, I was like, he about to turn on Dragon's <laughs> Dog, but too. <laughs> yeah, I was like, don't don't, I was like, don't play with me, man. I already, I I know what time it is. I I, I know what I know what's going on. The no. camera gets too low, and you can see the controller. I'm like, but, huh? What? Huh? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uncle Bunga, Uncle Bunga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Authority, authoritarianism, Damn. and 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 Damn. and and you, you punch a you if you punch a woman in the street, you're an authoritarian, or, or hey. for one reason or another. <laughs> Baby, babies are rocks. Yeah, babies oh. are rocks. There you go. Puppies too, <laughs> apparently. Uh, See, if y'all if y'all go watch the go watch it, you, you'll get all these insights. You, yeah. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> it's to say. It was hilarious. Um, you know, uh, maybe not for everyone involved, but definitely for us. Um, the nihilism is right. That 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 uh, they came in with a with a Drake. Uh, what was his name? Drake. Um, no, yeah, Drake. What's the kid's name? He's Which not one? A kid now, but I'm saying the guy Drake Josh. Drake. Drake and oh, Josh, talk what's about uh, Drake, uh, uh, Drake Bell. Bell. I came across yeah. that Hill. I'm like, it's not Hill. Yeah, Drake Bell. That whole episode was a damn curveball and a half. Oh like, yeah, like, the no. whole time like here's your main villain, and then it's like, ooh, psych, psych. It's <laughs> like, like, oh my god. I was like, bro. Well, okay. So is that, let's go ahead and put this this all out here. I'm mm -hmm. gonna go say it right now. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. era of television that they're talking about on the Quiet on Set uh, documentary is not entirely the era of Nickelodeon television when I was watching it. Not to say that it didn't apply to it. It did. Mm -hmm. But, like, when they started getting to, like, uh, the Amanda show uh, with Amanda oh, Bynes, right. the Ariana Grande stuff, uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, um, the Drake and Josh 
uh, stuff. That was an era of Nickelodeon I was not a part of because by mm. that, by the time those shows came out, I saw myself as good and fucking grown, and I was like, mm. I don't watch this shit. I was like, I'm watching mm. anime. <laughs> I'm yeah, watching no, Akira. Yeah. I'm, I'm watching, watching anime like an adult. Like an adult, <laughs> like, right? I'm watching, look, look, I'm watching anime titties. <laughs> like a look, grown ass man. <laughs> I wish I wish I could say the same thing, but I actually am pretty familiar mm -hmm. past past my teen years because mm -hmm. uh my ass went ahead and became a dad at 20. Mm -hmm. So now in 2002, 2003, 2004, my daughter is growing up. So like in the 2004, 2005 time frame, she's watching Nickelodeon. Like right. I, I know of Victoria's and all that stuff because she now she's watching it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's man. It was but it was still crazy. And I, I, I think, uh, yeah, Zyla just said uh, the uh, the. Uh, host of Double Dare. That was the thing. Actually, I kind of wish they'd have had him on more, because. Mm. But I, I guess they 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 didn't because you. Know, I guess he didn't really have much, if anything, to do with any of the uh, uh, the core stuff. But I was like, damn. I was like, when they had him on, I was like, bruh. I was like, okay, all right. I was like, I I got scared for a second. So I was like, please tell me he didn't do nothing. I was right. like, please tell me he didn't do nothing, man. Cause I, I used to love me some fucking double dare. I used to fuck with double dare like hardcore. Mm -hmm. Getting slimed and shit. Yeah, 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 dude. That was my shit. That was my shit back in the day. I used to want to be on double dare until yeah. I realized that that was a, a dumb goal. Uh, yeah, but not only that, I'm like, I'm thinking about it now. I'm like, that's disgusting. Like what is yeah. what's in that? What's in that? Is yeah. it sanitary? Am I gonna get I'm gonna get a strep throat now? I don't know. I'd be like, wait, did y'all <laughs> did y'all change out? The nose, the yeah. goop that was in the nose. Did y'all change that out between? Is that is that wiped down? Is that you got any hand sanitizer? This is not, I'm not touching. I about to say first of all that you, you already know you already knew what time it was. You know they didn't do that shit. Uh, uh -uh. You like, you like, no. <laughs> but no, um, no. When they start being when they when they were talking about all that, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, bet. I I I I rocks with all that. I already know what time it is. Uh. Um, but then, then tragedy starts to strike and mm. they start talking about a cat by the name of Dan fucking Schneider. He sounds like a, he sounds like a fucking, uh, uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure villain, uh, yeah, is Dan what he's saying. Schneider. Dan He's Schneider. like, yeah. Like, don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there's something about him. It, it just, it, it, and then face, really not even his name, but it's like his face. Like, you know what's wrong with him? I'm gonna tell you what's wrong with him real quick. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. It's real quick. It's super fast, super superficial. I mean, there's mm -hmm. a lot wrong with him. Just saying, but but just looking at him, you know what kept throwing me off? That he had a had a 12 year old's haircut the whole time. Bruh. Also, I just want to point that out weird? that's weird. No, 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 no. He he literally walked around like a 12 year old kid. But I also want to point out, uh -huh. I appreciate the fact that old girl behind him is looking at him like. Yeah, I know you did something fucked up. You, yeah, no, nah, you fucked up. You, you out here doing some shit. And yeah, ooh, she's like, she was like, man, when they catch your ass, ooh. <laughs> but no, this motherfucker is, yeah, Dirty Dan. You goddamn right. Yeah, that that that's that's him. Mm -hmm. Dirty, dirty, mm -hmm. goddamn Dan, right there. That's that motherfucker right there. But no, he is kind of the mastermind. Uh, behind a lot of the craziness that's that's going on in this documentary, and yeah, you know, for those who know who he is, he was a guy who was kind of a uh, first off, power switch, you ain't shit. <laughs> Dandu Shinaida, <laughs> <laughs> it was me, <laughs> Dandu Shinaida. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love it here. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. That he said that's a. That's not a girl. That's a dude. What? Uh, what's up? He said uh, in the picture. This. Uh, I guess that, that must be from like the newer age Nickelodeon because I don't know who that is. But they said it's a. It's a dude. Oh, it's a dude. Oh, never mind. My bad. Yeah. Well, I but, mean, that's, uh, that's not how that. That's not how how that works before testosterone. Anyway, you know that is probably, true. That is true. Everybody's kind of looking feminine until testosterone hits. <laughs> like I said, 
did didn't did did not know him. Uh, <laughs> but point of the matter is Dan Schneider. Mm hmm. Maybe. He was a guy who was like he was. I don't want to say failed actor, but he was a guy that got into acting real quick, in and out, and just kind of moved, gravitated into writing, and you know show running. And it's funny to me because, dude, hearing some of the stuff people were saying about this cat, it it doesn't even make sense. Like, okay, yeah, the the kid stuff, weird, really weird. But even beyond, like, you know, uh, some of that, like, I was talking to my wife about this because she refuses to watch this documentary. She does not want to see it. She already kind of knows what time it is. She does mm. not want to be any more freaked out than what she is. Okay. But it's when they got to the women writers that were on the show. There were two women writers on the show. Mm -hmm. This had my head messed up. Imagine for a moment. You achieved your Hollywood dream. You are writing for a, a, a show on Nickelodeon, a big cable network, television, kids network, and you are finally like, it, it, it's all come. The dream is coming together. It's coming together. I get to I get to write on this show. But guess what? There's one problem. We can only afford to pay one of y'all. So uh, uh y'all gonna have to split that check. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. No, but it's cool because like all the other writers got full paychecks. They were men. Yep. They were all men. So the men got full paychecks and then the two women had to split. That was interesting. That like I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. yeah like the the, yeah. the stuff with the kids, I was like, God, I was like, bro, like what's yeah. going on? But I'm not gonna lie, yeah. this part right here kind of fucked my head up. Well, because we by this part we hadn't even got to the worst of it. We, right you know, I, by this part we're like creepy. Uh, I don't think yeah. they had shown the part with Ariana Grande's you know little oh, snippets yet. Oh, dude! But, first off, this dang. this shit right here with the actually, you know what? It wasn't even this part. The part where she's like jerking off the potato. This was weird. But it was when uh, they had her with the water, the water. bottle, and water, she's like skeeting yeah. the water all over herself. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm like. Yeah. Who is the? I think there was even a, a a lady on the documentary who said she was like, "Who is this for?" Right. This like, exactly who is this right. for? Yeah. Like yeah, sexual yeah, yeah, yeah. innuendo. Uh huh. On a kid uh -huh. show with whole fifteen year old girls. That's right. It, it, yeah, it, no, shit was. Mm. What was it? The stuff with the wood. The stuff with the wood, where it was like, "Oh, I want wood. I want wood. I want to mm -hmm. ride. I want to get on some wood." And it's just like. Okay, all right, look. Yeah. These this are frat boy jokes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are frat this boy jokes. Is. What am I hearing? Wait, what? Y'all ain't seen this? This this clips out yeah. there. Let me see if I can, uh, let me I'm gonna see. Yeah, I was gonna say if you find yeah, YouTube. Yeah, I was gonna say because uh, we That's little... what they actually the the if you look at what they were showing, the 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 actual documentary used a youtube video yeah no it did yeah um, it most yeah because well because this was back in the day like so shit like this is probably about the video quality you go get <laughs> but uh oh uh, yeah it's, it's for dan get yeah. in my van schneider dundu schneider uh was him you know what's you know here's what's wild, wild though um i don't understand how I know things were different. Okay. And then the Me Too hadn't happened yet. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But when we start talking about things like Michael Jackson and like shit that's happening in the background and think people sweeping shit under the rugs, that's disgusting. It's mm -hmm. horrible, right? But before the information age, before the internet, it's kind of like, damn, good thing we have the internet now. It's harder to get away with that shit. This shit is on like t this TV. This is on the TV. How did nobody see this shit? It was like flipping out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, because parents aren't watching it, you know. I don't ever see. I, yeah. I just told you I, I I seen Victorious and shit. Obviously, I never seen this. Not like I'm sitting down watching the whole thing, you mm -hmm. know. Um, that shit is is insane. Yeah. Oh, it, it, it's it's insane. It, it is, it is, it, it it's absolutely positively ridiculous. Because this, okay, I'm gonna go try it out. This is the, the, probably one of the saddest parts of it, and, and this doesn't even have anything to do. I think per se, 
I don't even think this has anything to do per se with uh uh well maybe it does because you know birds of a feather but uh there was a mother on the documentary mm-hmm. Uh, of one of the actresses that was on the Amanda show, which I guess, yeah, technically mm-hmm. this does kind of fall under his purview because he was mm-hmm. over the Amanda show. But uh, um, this cat right here, uh, let me pull it up. Bam, this cat right here got busted. Sending emails to one of the young ladies on the show, sending the man... Or, 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 or the man sending the woman, the, the little girl, who's I think at the time I think they said she was oh, like 15, 14, was 15. Sending dick pics. Yeah, he was sending her dick pics and talking about how I'm thinking of you. Yeah. I was like, bruh, stop, 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 yeah. stop. These people have to be stopped. Come on, man, bruh. The, and, oh, yeah, because yeah, I think that was what it was. She said that she. Heard her daughter scream uh-huh. in the other room because she was on her email. And I'm and, and mind you, when all this is this is taking place like what early aughts? Yeah. Uh like early aughts, give or take, uh late 90s, early aughts, I don't know. Um But the point remains, this was a guy who worked, I don't even think he I don't think he was a writer, he just was a part of the crew on the right. show and he developed a relationship like a like a friendship first of all let me go tell you right now i'm sorry but if you i don't care how big famous a fucking celebrity i become you see me out in these streets standing next to some little girl who is not related to me right. i am holding that motherfucker for the police please believe that L- looking at you drake B- bruh <laughs> bruh i was just like bruh i was like what is going on here but like yeah this cat sent the pictures to the girl yeah and here's the thing and, and you know what fuck this dude but i'm gonna tell you who i was even more mad at hmm. this heifer right here <laughs> who said she <laughs> didn't call the police oh because she didn't want to ruin the daughter you know, she, you well no she said she didn't want to when she said she didn't want to look like a bad mother. I said, no, you look like a bad mother now. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'd have kept that part to myself. <laughs> I would, Man, I'm saying. Like, I would have respected her more if she said, look, I didn't want to fuck up this bag. But when she said she didn't want to look like a bad mom, I was like, stop lying. That's Stop a, lying. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, stop yeah, lying. Like, okay, hey, you got this. You're about to be my my meal ticket for the rest of my life. Just Bruh. man, I'm super sad right now, but uh, we'll make sure that won't happen again. But you got this. <laughs> yeah, remember, remember, uh, stiff, yeah. stiff upper lip. <laughs> yeah, man. but you, but when you think about it though, like when you hear some of the stories, man, shit, some of the stories that man to be telling me from you know, no names or anything, no right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me stop. Um. Yeah, I'm about to be a single, single, uh, single salary household here in a second. Um, no, 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 don't do that. Don't yeah. do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Moms can be pieces of shit. Let's just put it that way. Oh, um, yeah. Dads get the bad rap. Dads get a bad yeah. rap, but moms can be treacherous. <laughs> they are like, they're sitting there, you know, selling their kids, not giving a fuck, not believing their kids, choosing their you boyfriend pimping. over this. Yeah, this shit right here. Same thing. Same thing. You know, what I mean, you might you might hear some stories about, you know, drugs or or, you know, doing this, doing this, letting letting people do this and that and, and X, Y, Z for money. But this is just the Bruh. other side. This is this is the uh, this is the 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 higher class. This is the the way they do it. Same exact shit. Yeah. But people with money. Yeah. People with money. doing it. Yeah. yeah. It, it's it, matter of fact, it, it, it's so funny. You just said that, too, because, you know, uh, Cynthia and I, we were sitting on the couch earlier, uh, you know, because she asked, like, what we're going to be talking about. And, I'm, you know, I brought this up. And she was like, you know, she said the worst part about it is, is that, you know, between this and the Diddy stuff, she was like, this is basically just proving every right wing conspiracy theory right. Even though, and I was like, yeah, I said, I said, it's sad because it's not just Hollywood. I was like, this is just terrible human behavior. I was like, there's poor motherfuckers who do this shit. Like, there's poor people who perpetrate the same crime. The only difference is, is the tax bracket these people are in. 
and yeah. it can afford and 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 even though they they're in a tax bracket that can afford them extra protections that like a middle class working class person would not have they still get cover because i have literally seen situations where family members are protected by other family members 100% you know oh uh God. you know, teachers and administrators and coaches and uh, uh, um, you know, family friends are protected by other people who probably share the same affiliation or or, or the same title or relationship to the person who is the victim. So yeah, it, it's it's not even a money thing, and I think that's kind of the the shit people are losing sight of is that they're like, no, no, no. See, they're exposing Hollywood. It's like, no, they're just exposing shitty people. That's right. No, yeah. see, I actually thought about that. Um, and I can't, I can't think about it too long because then I stop. I'll, 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 I'll start getting pissed. And, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, no, this is because I hear, it. I can hear him now. Yeah. Like, see, oh, oh I Ooh. thought we were crazy. You are crazy. Yeah. You're not right because literally nobody said that child abuse is not a problem and is not, it is not ubiquitous. It's not worldwide. Yeah. It's a billion dollar industry. Nobody said that. It's that they're they're nuts for a few different reasons because they hyper focus on things like hollywood or the yeah. elite or worse <laughs> the, the lgbtqia <laughs> oh well, i thought you, yeah there yeah yeah <laughs> no, no. i thought you were gonna say the roth child <laughs> them them boys uh, the boys? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah you know who the boys oh. are y'all know y'all yeah, know who they are you know you know yeah. <laughs> I, i'm not I, um, I don't have to answer a question <laughs> yeah, I don't answer questions. So. <laughs> you know, like he's a cop. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, I'm like, look, it's not that. It's like it's your neighbor, it's your pastor, it's your. It's, let me tell you something. Right. Let me tell you something. And, and I and I know Cipher World. Uh, uh, we we talked about this. Cipher can relate. I I share a meme. I get I get passive aggressive on Facebook sometimes because I got family on there, and I have a family member who is now deceased who was a pedophile mm. and nobody said shit. I found out later in my adult life, but I'm like, nobody knows nobody. Like, what did you do? You stayed with this dude. You stayed married to this dude. Never called the cops. Y'all and so him? every chance <laughs> I get, I'm sharing memes talking about, you know, uh, for every Latin family that's shitting on someone being gay um, and and calling gay people pedophiles and this and that, uh, you're you got a you're hiding a uh, uh, a rapist in your in your own home. You got you got a rapist in or a pedophile in family pictures because right. it's the grandfather. It's the it's the patriarch. Fuck out of here. That's why the whole it's queuing on. That's why none of this shit. Like they can say all they want. Like oh, guess I was proven right. No, the fuck you weren't. Because they're still they're still not drinking the blood of babies. It's still not just the elite or Jews right. or gay people or Hollywood. It's, it's your pastor. That's yeah. who's doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Contrary to popular yeah. belief, not every Jewish person is rich. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> it is sad, though, that it is always that, like, the cipher just says it is always that one uncle. That one, one uncle. It's either, yeah. like, an uncle, a cousin, like, something. But it's always that. And everybody knows, like it's, it's one of the, like they joke about it, and it's like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A, a, until it until it is no longer funny. Because we had funny. one, we had one in my family. Yep. And when he finally, I think he finally fucked around and found out, like way later in life, and went to jail for it. And I think. Mm -hmm. I don't, because I don't keep up, but I'm pretty sure he's still there if he didn't die in prison. But oh, uh, shit. you would, you, I would, I would like to think so. I hope so. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, you saw the, you saw what time uh, the Drake Bell dude got, Brian Peck. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, matter of fact, here, let me, let me pull that some bitch. Is it 14 uh, months or 16? See, it months? was, it was 16. He got 16 months, and not only did he get 16 months when he got out of prison <laughs> the man immediately got a job at disney working on the sweet life of zach and cody <laughs> with some more kids <laughs> man let me tell you look 
Look, when I said when I said we came for violence to the this week, let me tell you, for those who were surprised at the Ariana, by the way, I don't know if you want to watch it or not, but yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 we can. I put the link. But if, if we don't have to watch it, but yeah, but yeah, yeah. but the thing is, is that uh, that right there, this if you if that was surprising, check this shit. I'm gonna. I don't know how many of y'all like the original X Men. Oh yeah, Th- this motherfucker right here. We're not talking about allegations. No, we're not talking. We're talking about this dude completely, fully, in every sense of the word, raped uh, 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 Drake Bell. Yeah, like completely. And, and not just once, over. multiple times over time. Yeah. And, and and to where to what Bell said, he goes, I could, he goes, I, 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 he, you could tell he wants to like, he doesn't want to say all the words, you know what I mean? Cause right. I, I, that fucking sucks. And he goes, just imagine the worst that you could do to somebody. That's yeah. what it was. And then what <sighs> yeah. the show did was really smart. They showed, they showed flashes of the uh, document papers. Yep. And then all the shit they, you know, talking about sodomy, X, X, Y, Z, this is not. Yeah, everything. So now it, we're talking about convicted. Again, not allegations, not, oh, he got thrown on a technicality, but we know he did it. Nope. Convicted. Convicted? And, and it, what, what, what was he said? He said that when uh when, when he talked to Disney about it, they said, yeah, don't you have like some kind of thing? He was like, oh, it's been taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say in <laughs> it's a shitty defense. No, no, defense. how are you not doing background checks? I don't believe people don't know this. Matter yeah. of fact, I'm just gonna go out and say right now, I don't I don't believe them. But like, ah shit, we got caught. We're gonna say we didn't know. But yeah. when it became public, then they fired him. And mm-hmm. I'm like, bitch, we know you all knew. Yeah. We all know you guys get the fuck out of here. You knew. Uh I don't I don't believe for one second uh old dude uh Dan didn't know. Oh, he knew. <gasps> What? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. He's yeah. like, oh, I had no idea. Oh. I had no idea. At what? sentencing. <laughs> at sentencing, Drake Bell comes into the into the courtroom and he says the entire side in support of this motherfucker. Full. Mm. Full of people. Yep. What uh to name a few, James Marsden. Oh of Cyclops. Of Psychops fame, look, not comes the out Sonic there. rings out his ass. That's what that's what that's what he should have got. <laughs> said, <laughs> said, said, he has gone. What what he is? He, I know this man, and he has suffered a thousand man suffering or <laughs> some shit like that, Bruh. He hasn't said shit. He hasn't come out, made a statement, no apology, nothing. Um, a, it's a SNL comedian, uh, Taron Killam. I yep. didn't know who he was until the picture, until I saw his picture. I'm like, yep. oh shit, okay, I know him. Um, he came out and said some shit. Uh, oh yeah. A- uh, uh, Alan Thick, you know, if y'all if y'all are old enough to have seen Growing Pains, Robin Thick's dad is a yep. dad off of Growing Pains. He's dead now, but he wrote a character letter supporting him. Now mm-hmm. I will give credit. Um, there was one who actually came out later and said that she was given misinformation about the situation, I think, or something. Will Friedel and Ryder Strong. Those are yeah. two stars from, uh, um, what's it, uh, uh, Boy Meets World. Yep. And I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him a, I'm going to give him a bone. Uh, probably not best word usage given the topic, but, <laughs> but I'm also, <laughs> Um, but I'm also going to be like, but don't pat yourself. Don't break your arm, pat yourself yeah. on the back too hard. Nah. So th- what they describe, Will Friedel and Ryder Strong, they said that the way that he described, see, first of all, I, I just can't. Uh, the way he described it to them, being a longtime friend of 10 plus years, was that it was jailbait. He fucked up. I messed up. Um, but you know, he was hitting on me and I fucked up and he kind of like left it at that. First of all, look, I, I always say so, but I'm just letting you know, I'm letting anybody know right now. Like, Hey man, um, this 14 year old came up to me and, uh, she was hitting on me though. I'm like, Oh bro, <laughs> you messed up, but I still support you. You know, I know how 14 year olds could be. What? 
like, like how would, you? how did you even get past the, the dude was he was 14 15 years old you know what the fuck are you talking about but i will say this much when they went into the room she says i went in there and i started hearing what was said and i realized i had been lied to by yeah. omission and mm-hmm. and she goes i i was like i felt disgusting sitting in there and i was completely ashamed and i've been ashamed ever since Defending now here's where motherfucker uh-huh <laughs> I <laughs> why do they always look the part? They do. They really do. They really do. They tell them themselves. Wait, I you know you there's all kinds of essays and stuff like that. But when you like get like straight up pedophiles, they don't look like James Marsden. No, they don't. They like you know, <laughs> no, never, um, never. And you're not supposed to do that. Like you know, they, they always tell you like, hey, look, don't let the movies fool you. The villains don't always look like villains. You know, what I mean, be careful. I'm like, yeah, I know, but specifically pedophiles, they kind of almost always look like pedophiles. It's kind of weird. Bruh. Um. <laughs> All the time. All the... Well, and this is the thing I thought was kind of funny, because there were a lot of people I did recognize, but the thing I could not stand was seeing so many people say shit like, well, I'm sure that he was tempted, or that I'm sure that he, he was seduced. Get the fuck out of here with that. Yeah. Yeah. Disgusting. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Yeah. How are you going to victim blame a 14, 15 year old, however old he was? That's, I mean, that Bruh. is wild. That is wild. <laughs> it just, I, I don't know. I just, it, it just, it, it, it writes itself. It, it, it literally legit writes itself. Uh, and, and like I keep saying, I don't have. He's messing around. Let me see if it'll come back. It should come back. I think it's about to come back. Let's see what happens. Okay, it came back. Good. OBS being OBS. Uh, mm. <laughs> but no, I just thought it was weird because, you know, you see that kind of behavior. I know, yeah, we, we've talked a lot about Brian Peck. Mm-hmm. But the thing that got me was, dude, seeing shit like this, mm-hmm. like seeing this man sitting in the hot tub with Amanda Bynes, and it's like I get it; they're trying to do like something kind of funny or you know cute on the side. But it was just the way that he carried himself around you know, these children. Like, oh, he's acting like I mean, I guess yeah. If you if you didn't know any better, or maybe you just were innocent you probably would look at you know a situation like this and think oh no that he he's like a big brother to her but like then you you look at it and it's like this guy is legit having this 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 girl like giving him back massages and foot massages and you know rubbing on his, his shoulders and his neck and shit and he's like you know, hanging out with her like after work hours and shit and it's just like the scenes the scenes he would write and put the yes. children yes you know what, what I mean? The, like Jamie, just, the Jamie Lynn Spears, uh, yeah, the goop on her face. It's like that's a and and okay. No, here's the thing that got me with that. When the girl said that she overheard the boys on the set, basically been like, "That's a cum yeah. shot." Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, she was yeah. just like, "I'm not gonna lie, mm. that th- I'm not gonna lie, that kind of took me out. I'm not gonna lie to you, that kind of took me out." And and just you know, we're I'm gonna pull this up too because uh, I I you know uh. Uh, Robo got me the uh, (laughs) this man up here got us on the TV. Look, Cypher's a real one. Um, (laughs) But I'm going to pull this up. I want y'all to see this because it it, 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 it's not it's not illegal. There's there's no content warning. No, no. But just prepared to be is uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially in the context of of like, oh, this is what was going on. And um, I think if I had seen this, because I'm probably like 22 or 23 with the three or four year old at the time. Right. Um, I could see myself. I'm trying to imagine what I'd be thinking at 23, 24 years old. I could see myself walking out of TV, seeing something like we're about to watch right now and mm. going. This is normal. Am I the only one that am I? <laughs> well, no, I'm like, uh, uh, oh, it, I see. Yeah. Am I, am I the only? OK. But you know how sometimes you see something and it's like. Maybe I'm the weirdo for even thinking that. I don't right? Know. Yeah, no, like, that's what. Oh. Yeah. And then when you get the when you get the t- context, like I was right to be weirded out. Right. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because that's 
it's like because at the time I'm thinking, like, these guys aren't thinking about that. But then you go back and think about Hollywood and like some of the things that used to appear in like Disney movies back in the day, and you're like, mm. nah, somebody knew what the fuck they were doing. Um, like you seen those Red and Stimpy scenes? Yes, yes. Uh, but that was for adults, so that you will right. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna unmute this because uh, yeah, this. So y'all, I'm just gonna say right now, shit's about to get weird. Okay. About to get real weird. Have you ever said something like a sentence and thought to yourself, wow, like I bet nobody else on earth has ever said those exact words that I just said. And that happens to me a lot. So now, just for fun, I'm gonna say three sentences that I bet not one person has ever said before in the history of mankind. Sentence number one. Oh, oh man, my uvula got stuck between that hamster's toes. See? That could never happen because your uvula is that swingy thing in the back of your throat right here. Y y yeah. So there's no way yeah. you could get stuck between yeah. the hamster's toes. Sentence number oh. three. Ah! I'm soaking wet. Quick, somebody bring me the ocean. No one would ever say that. that Why? This, this thing yeah. is like two minutes, wet, so you, you should just find the it? one where she's the trying to drink water up for them. Oh yeah. Well, honestly, all this stuff is weird. All of this is weird. It's all, it's all that way. Yeah. Oh the, the oh, feet. Yeah. The a foot whole thing. bunch of different ones. Because apparently he has like a whole. Sometimes I wonder. Yeah, he has like a foot deal. Uh, this is the actually I want to see this. This, this yeah, is the potato. Yeah, yeah. This is the yeah, one yeah. we kind of showed an image of. This right here. Can you can you get juice? Yeah. Yeah. Can you get juice out of a potato? Is it possible for a teenage girl to drink water upside down? Why, yeah, why is that right here. Teenage girl. I'm yeah. Thirsty. Like how? Come on, dude. Come on. This is what I'm dude. talking about. No, but this, but this is what I'm talking about. Like, like people was aired. Yeah, this was aired. Yeah, you know, hundred no, percent. Oh no, hundred percent. So, so this in, is... the, in the in the doc, did you did you save the uh, the statements at the end of the deal? I put it in the document. I could I can. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let, let me. I can get that. I can get that. I got. I okay. have. I have the. I have so, the. I have the show notes right here. When you when you uh, while you're getting that, what yeah. you guys are about to read is what is the is the statements at the end of doc uh, of the documentary. So here and, and talks about like what Dan Schneider how what his response was and 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 I know we're gonna look at the interview, uh, but this was the statement that Dan Schneider gave the the documentary. Yeah, and yeah, I'm and I'm gonna be honest with you. More. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. Obviously, it's um not taking responsibility bullshit. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. But there is, but there is something in there that he's right about, and a or or that is an important key note here. Right. Um, so Nickelodeon's official response is in response to producers' questions. Nickelodeon has stated it investigates all formal complaints as part of a blah, 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 blah. Basically, yep, yep, we take this very seriously, and we have everything in play, place now, and, and yeah, no, that was bad. That sucks. Okay. You know, yeah, they don't, yeah, they don't yeah. really say anything. We have policies in place. Dan Schneider says, listen carefully now. Don't just write it off as, as I, I'm, I'm, I'm deflecting blame. He is, but there's something yeah. very important in what he's saying here. Oh, yeah. Dan Schneider says everything that happened on the shows I ran was carefully scrutinized by dozens of involved adults. All stories, dialogue, costumes, and makeup were fully approved by network executives on two coasts. A standards and practices group read and ultimately approved every single script and programming executives reviewed and approved all episodes. In addition, every day on set, there were always parents and caregivers and their friends watching us rehearse and film. Now, he's doing something that's slick here. And I'm I don't take this the wrong way. Fuck Dan Schneider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm but I'm right, I'm here for it, and he's fucking right. Mm -hmm. Because when somebody says, when somebody says, I'm uh they're making me the scapegoat. Mm -hmm. Typically, what that implies is I didn't do anything wrong. They just want me to take the blame, right? So I wouldn't call him a scapegoat because he's also a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. But make no fucking mistake. He's fucking right. 
And yeah. I wouldn't doubt for one second if we found out that Nickelodeon was definitely on board with this sort of documentary. You're like, oh, yeah, let's make this all. Can we just make sure, like, Dan Snyder, this evil, like, puppet master? Cool. Yeah. Bitch, it was Dan Snyder. Absolutely. And his boss, and his mm-hmm. boss's boss, and every fucking parent on set, and every other fucking cast member, uh, 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 adult that was an adult, every executive, every scriptwriter, every fucking costume designer, every cameraman, all every motherfucker on there that watched Ariana Grande, the really the 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 most harmless of the examples, still disgusting, right? But you know, you knew about Ariana Grande, you filmed it, you she turned right. it down, she poured water over herself. And every motherfucker on this set said, I'm trying to keep my job. I'm not saying nothing. Drake 100%. Bell is literally getting raped. And nobody was the same thing because they want to keep their job. It took a parent of a girl he said he was dating at the time. Can you fucking imagine? <laughs> if I was that mother, I would fucking jump off a Minecraft cliff. And yeah, just you know, like, <laughs> like, like my own time. I couldn't be the mom to see that. No. Some other mom doesn't even know my kid. She's dating her daughter. Had to be the one. Well, and and here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I, I want to make sure I'm very clear when I say this. Uh, it reminds me of like this, like this, like everything the Robo is saying right now. It reminds me of something I heard a comedian say once when I was a kid, back when the Michael Jackson case was going on. Mm. And it hits true just as much today as it does and it did as it did to me back then. If Michael goes to jail, everybody gotta go. The security that walked them little boys on the Never Never Land, they gots to go. Cause they likely knew what was going on. Mm-hmm. The the publicists who introduced Michael to them little kids gots to go to jail because they knew what time it was. Uh, everyone who, the, the cook who was making the peanut butter and banana sandwiches they was eating while they was playing <laughs> Nintendo and, and with each other, yep. they need to go to jail too. Everybody involved needs to go to jail because here's He's the saying. thing. It, yeah, yeah. They, okay, first of all, let me, let me, let me pull this back because I want to make sure that I am very clear because this is actually a picture from that interview. Dandu Schneider. <laughs> is a piece of shit. But everybody who emboldened him gave him power. Because here's the thing. This man was untouchable. This man was literally seen as the untouchable man. You couldn't do anything to him. Case boy, let me go. You remember this this at the beginning of the conversation? Mm -hmm. When these women spoke up about their salaries, guess what happened? Right. This motherfucker came in and said, oh, y'all trying to get me in trouble. Mm -hmm. Like it was one of those. It was like immediate retaliation. Someone in the chat, I I, I saw it earlier, brought up the uh, original girl that was on all that before Amanda Bynes, who got screwed over as a result of him. Like because she was getting weight and then she stopped getting weight. And then she got, which is fucking weird to, to even say, but got too hot yeah like she looked too much like a woman it's like no that's not yeah. the role we want we already have our hot one uh it's old girl down here girl. right yeah yeah yep yep they they said she was getting he said she was getting too fat and she, the one on the right she goes we already have a fat one right so then she yeah. lost weight got into puberty and we already have a hot one and we don't know what to do with you so you're out and yeah you brought in amanda buns which is just which is just insane and 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 let me just be clear here and i'm not trying to talk shit uh, uh, I, I don't, I don't want to make this a, uh, 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 you know, uh, Hey, I, we're, we're going to dunk on Amanda Bynes. Cause I, I don't want to do that. Cause she's as much a, that, that, that woman has been through a lot, obviously. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, all any kid who has gone through the shit that, uh, uh, he, and I guess you could kind of make a case that, Oh, she was protected because she was, you know, she was his favorite, but at the same time, she's still a victim in this because she was preyed upon. Uh, Mm -hmm. She was, she was preyed upon by a fucking Jojo's bizarre adventure villain, more or less Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. on some Hunter Hunter shit. 
Uh, for those who watch Hunter Hunter, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and then not only that, there was a lot of, uh, yeah, and I, I honestly, I could be here all day talking about the, 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 the PDF files that, that were involved in all this, but we also can't forget, uh, the, uh, black people who were done dirty as fuck on the set mm-hmm. of, uh, mm-hmm. of those shows, uh, case in point, Brian Hearn and, uh, Giovanni, uh, uh, Samuels. Yep. They got done dirty. Uh, on the show, like to to the point where I think I remember, I think it was Brian who's who was talking about this said that like it actually caused a rift between him and his parents or his mother more uh, uh, specifically, I believe, uh, when uh, he got removed from the show because the way they tried to paint it was that it was his mother's fault for being too involved right. and trying to protect him, and then he even talked about the fact that like. You know, there were, I think what was the one where they had to rub him down in peanut butter and you know, had him get licked by uh it was like dogs right. or some shit. And he was like, he even yeah. he clearly says on the camera that he's not yeah. comfortable with this, that he doesn't like what's is happening. This the, what, is this the same kid that had to do, or is this a different kid that had to do the suit that looked like it had dicks on it? Yeah, I think it was the same kid. I think it was the same yeah. kid. Yeah. yeah, it yeah, was but it was it was supposed to be a nose. It's supposed to be a nose, but... nose man, but mm-hmm. you could clearly see that those are dicks and you yeah, know, and it, it, yeah, it was I, I felt bad. Um, this is a weird, this is a weird, uh, it's going to sound weird answering this, but Lord Hafa, uh, Hafakagi said, um, Haifa, why do you think they don't try none of the black kids? Now, it's going to sound weird. They do. But the, well, they do, but uh, probably what's going on here, pedophiles could be racist too. Yeah. Uh, when you look at what she talked about and how this show affected her, affected her, she talked about self-hate and beauty standards and she yep. struggled with that because she's surrounded by people that that idolize the kind of looks that you would get yep. off of the main star of Victoria is Ariana Grande Amanda Bynes and then you have a black a, a, a black child here I don't know, almost a black woman you yeah know, black child yeah child and yeah. she and she's not attractive enough and that they actually joke about that on always sunny Mm. Where Mac is upset because he they think that Charlie got uh got assaulted in school and Mac is upset that he didn't get assaulted right and it's it's actually kind of a smart episode because it's like it's fucked but it also kind of fucks with your head because yeah. they were also talking about beauty standards and it's like wait a minute I don't want to be I don't want to be preyed upon I don't want to be catcalled but then again why does nobody catcall me am I ugly mm. like like and it's like it's yeah. it's it's just the patriarchal society, yeah, man, it's, two, it, fuck, it fucks everything up. Yeah, two things could be, I say all the time, two things could be true at the same time. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, they could be PDF files, and they mm-hmm. can uh, also be racist, be racist at the same time. Mm-hmm. Like, it, 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 it's, you know, just being one thing does not exclude you from being the other. Um, oh, uh, um, uh, no, Cos- uh, yeah, 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 Cosmic Citron says, uh, yeah, it was different. Okay, and I forgot, yeah, there was another kid that was on there. But yeah, but even mm-hmm. still, even still, even still, it was fucking weird. Mm-hmm. It was weird, the type of uh, behavior. I think uh, there was a different woman uh, on there who was uh, a kid uh, on one of these shows back when she was a kid. And she even talked about uh, you know, how she wouldn't, she doesn't let her, her own children oh, get involved. Oh, yeah, she, yeah, she's like, yeah, like, she's like, no. Nah. She's like, no, 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 fuck that. Mm-mm. And honestly, I don't like it, you. Know, so full disclosure. Uh, my daughter has expressed interest uh, in wanting to be like a, a on, on social media. She wants to be like a YouTuber or TikTok, mm-hmm. you know, uh, person or whatever. And you know, I, I've always had weird feelings about stuff like that because I feel like it opens a door to some stuff that I don't think any child should be privy to. Right. Um, and 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 I'm also kind of glad too that you know even when she did kind of express some of these interests, we never really. It's one of the rare instances where I didn't encourage, uh, uh, sure. uh, you know, her, her desire to want to do something. Not and, and not because I was like, oh, you know, you're not good enough, or oh, I don't think you can. Uh, I don't think right. you'll make it. This and there, nothing like that. It was always just more of a fear of shit like this. Like not even, right. and I'm not even just strictly talking about pedophilia. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about bigotry, 
racism, bigotry, like the, yeah, yeah, sexism, yeah, uh, predatory behavior yeah. by your own peer group. You right, know what I mean? Right. <laughs> yeah. Like it I just because yeah. okay, it obviously it's worse if an yeah. old man is asking for these pictures, but really, when you're 14 and other 15, 16 year olds are asking for those same pictures, it's still experiencing that same predatory behavior. Except it's just not pedophilia, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's still shit that she would have to be exposed to. No, you're right. Yeah. Well, and like I said, like you know, when old girl was talking about how you know it changed the way she viewed herself and her self worth and stuff. Like I don't want my kid to go through something like that. I wouldn't want my kid to feel mm -hmm. less than because of you know some shit ass on you know on YouTube you know being a shit ass. Like I I wouldn't mm -hmm. want that. I wouldn't want that for her. I wouldn't. I don't want that for anyone's children. I don't think like like yeah you see all these people uh, uh with their you yeah, and I'm not gonna lie I, I I'm I'm sure maybe it comes from a place of innocence or in some cases but when I see all these mm. uh people that my daughter used to watch and still watches in some respects like uh, A for Adley and Ryan's World and uh the Janet Kate I'm, I'm not gonna lie I get huge huge red flag vibes. Off that mm. shit from the parents of all. Cause I'm like, you are pimping your kid. You are oh, no, right, I'm like, right. dude, you are pimping your child. And That's I cool. personally, like when, when my daughter came to me and said, Oh daddy, I want to make my own YouTube channel. Blah, 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 blah. blah woo, woo. And I was like, you know what? I said, I'm gonna tell you what I said. I am more than happy to help you with this endeavor. I am more than happy to, 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 you know, nurture your desire to want to do this. But I told her, I was like, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I think you should wait. I was like, I think yeah. you should, I said, wait till you're like closer to being a teenager or something. I think maybe, you know, 100%, 100%. I was like, cause at least then maybe you, cause, cause you know, I, I'm not, not trying to say that, oh, she's not smart enough to get it, but it's just like, no, you, you gotta, keep she's safe. You gotta have balance. Right. Yeah. No, you, yeah. You, you, you have to, well, not only that, you also have to recognize when you know your child is not ready to experience something that is going to affect them for the rest of their life. Like it, and and that's kind of the thing I saw, and I was like, you know what, I I because I, I was like, I'm your daddy. It's my natural inclination to want to protect you. So and and, and, mm -hmm. I, and, I, and it's your as my daughter. I was like, it's your natural inclination to think that I'm overreacting. That's right. Because but she's building her. I think he's told her building her independence and right. self image and all this stuff. Yeah. And, and but One I think you I, could yeah. do is kind of like if, I, I think if I had another go. Yeah. Right. Like if we adopted or some shit. Yeah. Um, I, I would say I would try to guide. Yeah. Towards the arts. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like when I think about like the schedule that Drake Bell was talking about with him and his dad, where he'd come off school and then, and then, and then go to uh, uh, auditions and come back at 10. These are people who like, I want to be on TV. I'm like, well, do you want to be on TV or do you want to be an actor? Because you right. can go be in plays and be yeah. an actor, and then you can go to you know school like the Juilliard and stuff, uh, you know, or some shit. You don't have to be a YouTuber, no. uh, uh, you know, you know, if you want to perform, you know, you can go be on an actual show, you know, like what's right. that dude that's uh, famous just for being a host, uh, Ryan Seacrest? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, you can go do shit like that, you know, but you could be in plays, you could be on Broadway. You don't have to be in Hollywood, you know what I mean? Like so. Uh, I yeah so and, and here I real quick I actually want to address this too because uh I saw Black Marvel uh bring this up said folks were mad at the phallic symbols on the kid's shoulders I was mad he had to play a big nose black superhero shaking my head no Thanks. that was the other, okay so yeah that was the 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 noses looking phallic definitely not a good look uh huh however the main point of it was what the kind of super he had to play absolutely yes no. Cause the whole time they were worried about them looking like dicks. I was like, I said, this is, I was like, uh -huh. there's another problem here. And I was like, I feel like no one is saying it out loud. And I actually find that more bothersome. So no, you're not alone in that black marble. Okay. I'm, 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 okay. <laughs> 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 I'm right there with you. Um, yeah. Levester, like Blurdo, uh, like like oh, yeah. always says, two things could be true at once. They oh, this dude playing a a, ra a racist bullshit, and then also just part and parcel for the whole the whole theme of oh yeah, uh, 
Not only that, are those dicks? What the fuck is going on? Yeah, no, dude, like the whole time I was sitting there, I was like, this is. I was like, this is more than that. Mm hmm. I was like, this was more than that. But I was like, you know what? I, I was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna let them have their you know, uh you know their peace or whatever, but uh I was like, I feel like there's a bigger problem going on here that we're that that is not uh that is not being addressed. Um mm -hmm. that said, uh I do wanna jump into some of uh because we do have some super chats I want to take a look at. Um uh, one we missed from earlier, but uh, I'm gonna we'll read it just the same. Uh, for more knowledge, with the five dollars says Akira was traumatizing. Chick got so got uh got socked, stripped, then punched in the face. I was simply not ready. So yeah, for those who don't know what we're talking about, uh, there's a scene. There's a character uh who I believe is Tetsuo's uh girlfriend. I think her name is Kaori. Kaori. Mm -hmm. I I don't want to uh you know, mispronounce her name because it's been five ever. But um, yeah, basically she gets sexually assaulted. And like visibly so. And I was not prepared. I was not prepared yeah. for it at all. Uh it actually kind of messed my head up for a little bit. I was like, mm -hmm. well, excuse me? But um uh Levesso Samurai with the five dollars says just, just said, What's good? Hey, 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 you good. That's that's what's good, man. You. Uh <laughs> appreciate, that. appreciate that. Yeah, because if for damn sure ain't Nickelodeon. Uh, <laughs> uh, Cypher World with the four day nine. Dean saying, "I'm just out here just showing support, man. We love you, brother, and we 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 are we're hoping that uh everything is good on the home front." Um, the the thing that so you know we 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 we've kind of talked a good deal, but and also I just feel like they're the so they are they recently announced they're going to have a fifth episode of this show. Uh, like a bonus episode going in more detail. They're supposed to be talking more uh, uh, to uh, Drake Bell mm. uh, about things. Cause, cause to be fair, he kind of had some of his own uh, missteps after all this stuff. And it's kind of one of those I things. Touched on that a little bit, yeah. Yeah. I think they, they touched on it very briefly in the, uh, I don't know if it's going to come up in the bonus episode, but yeah, he, he had his own uh, share of, of of issues after the fact and and honestly it's one of those well i'm not making any apologies for any right. bad behavior that he may or may not have committed i will definitely say that just based on the stuff that he went through i'm honestly not surprised by anything that i heard uh mm -hmm. but I, I i i'll that that's just one of those i i actually it made me feel worse uh because i was like well you know because one of those things they say you know shit rolls downhill Mm -hmm. It was kind of one of those situations like where like, yeah, and, and honestly, you, those are the formative years of your life. And Thank when you go know. through something like that, it's going to taint you in some way. Like you're going to start to think that well, maybe this is normal. Mm -hmm. This is ha like this is happening to me every day. Maybe this like like two things can happen. You either a think it's normal or you know, b you think that you deserve it. I'd even say C, both. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it, it's it's sad. So, I uh, yeah, it, it's one. It's yeah. It just this this whole thing was messed up. This whole like honestly, this was the best worst thing I have ever watched. Uh, and I, I say that strictly because it shines a light on terrible people doing terrible things and giving a voice to the victims of those things. But I also feel like at the same time, it just made me feel just fucking awful inside as a person. Like, cause this is like you, I, I can see a big part of our childhood. Yeah. You feel cult. You, you feel, yeah. you know, right. responsible. You feel like, right. like guilt by association. Cause you're like, mm -hmm. I watched this happen. You know That's what I mean? Right. When um, people talk about like yeah. they ruined my childhood because like they made somebody's tits smaller or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's like <laughs> no, this ruins your childhood. Yeah, because now I'm looking at you know thinking back to when I was a teenager, you know watching all that or whatever, and he, seeing the the laughs and stuff, or even just thinking about thinking about Drake. Yeah, you know Drake Bell. Mm -hmm. You know, on set in a scene, wrestling with uh, with with uh, whatever that dude's name is. Um, wasn't it Josh? Something Josh? Isn't his name Peck? You? 
I don't know. It was Drake and Josh. What's the actor's name? The, the uh, actor that played Josh? Uh-huh. I don't remember his name. Yeah. Which is weird because he actually went on to do... Yeah, no, he's he's somebody now. Yeah, uh, he went I, on... I feel like his last name's Peck, too. Here, I'm actually... I'm, I, I have to look this up now because I can't... Yes, Josh Peck. Yep. Josh yeah, Peck. Yeah, ain't that some shit? I wonder if that was Bruh. true. Um, oh my god, bro. <laughs> but here's but here's the thing, Loki. I don't know all the details, but apparently Josh Peck is like uh came out and like when Drake uh when Drake Bell tried to say this earlier, and it's not the first time Drake Bell uh, brought something up like this, um trying to like bring out the signs of this shit. Yeah. Um, or raise the flag rather. And apparently Josh Peck said he didn't believe him. What? Yep. Bruh. Yep. Stop. That's why I was that's why I was kind of confused in the in the when the show because like I, I I look at my phone, I watch this, I do shit like while the while the shit's on. Yeah. I heard Brian Peck and then like yeah, Brian Peck assaulted. I'm like, I thought it was this dude. I'm like, oh his yeah, yeah, yeah. And Drake and John. I was like, it's like bro. Right like, yeah, yeah. Man. Oh, different peck, different peck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like uh, uh no relation or uh, maybe I don't right, know if they are related right. or not, but yeah, still. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude, that is just like, could, but you, but could you imagine that? Also, you know, it, 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 it's weird. Cause you know how, like, you know how, like when you, you know, when you, you, you watch an actor do something and that's what you know them for. Like, you, like they say first impressions, uh, uh, first impressions are a motherfucker. Uh, mm. yeah, they, 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 they really are. But uh, I was so like here. I'm, I want to pull this up just because uh, you know it, it's it's relevant. But, uh, Josh Peck on the on the le- on the right. Uh, I watched. I forget the name of the movie. It was something Creek, whatever. But it was a movie mm. with him in it back, but like before he lost weight, and he played this kid who was a bully, and he was a total shit bird. And was like just really awful, and the kids like turn on him and end up like accidentally killing him. Yeah, uh, I forget the name of the movie, but yeah, if you, it's it's not hard to find. But ever since I, because I never watched Drake and Josh, that was like I said, wasn't my thing. Uh, I knew of it, I was aware of its existence, I just didn't watch it. I right. knew, I knew just enough to know that it was a show. Who was on it, and I could recognize like if I saw the people from it, I'd be like, oh, some Drake and Josh motherfuckers. Um, mm. but I remember ever since then, that is how I have viewed Josh Peck. Mm. I, I, you that little chubby bully got man, fuck that kid. Like every time I would see him in anything, <laughs> fuck that kid. Yeah. Right, like, oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Fuck that dude. Like, it's like when I watch like, yeah, because of game of Thrones, it was the first time I forget the name of the actor who plays little finger. But every time I see that motherfucker, I'm like, Oh man, Fuck that dude. It's the same thing for that motherfucker right there. So when you just said that, I was like, mm. nah, I knew he was like that. Because <laughs> of the role nah, he played. I knew. He played I knew. Too good. He, he was too good. He was too good. <laughs> like, dude, uh, Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller. Mm-hmm. First thing I ever saw Ezra Miller in was We Need to Talk About Kevin. And ever since I saw that movie, it convinced me especially after all those allegations, the, the, the arrest and everything. You, I was you like, were like, see, I knew it. I called it. He would. <laughs> they wasn't acting. They wasn't acting. They, they, that was real. Oh, <laughs> that, we need to talk about Kevin was a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> but no, anyway. Hey, uh, yeah. So, so, so real quick, um, yeah. you know, before, before we move on to the next thing, mm-hmm. um, I see, I see baloney justice, uh, wondering like what, what is nerds of culture about? And this seems to be a pretty heavy topic and, and it is, it right? is. we're talking very... about, we're talking about, um, a very deep, a dark, uh, documentary, um, to answer your question, uh, are they usually like this? No. Um, but uh, just just so you know, I, I don't want to. I don't want you to go away. Uh, but I do want you to 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 want to be here. So, just in case uh, you might be new here, um, if you if you're not familiar with Nerds of Culture, there's uh, Ernie has two live shows. Uh, he has with Carter Blurred Cave on Saturday, and with myself and and Cipher, who's in the chat right now, he's taking care of his mom. Um, 
is this show, Nerds of Culture. Now, obviously, they're both uh, shows based around nerds, right? From a from a black and brown perspective, uh, and um, but uh, Nerds of Culture, we go into uh, more of the like, you know, the social commentary, a little bit political, more political, right? So we so we covered, you know, uh, uh, Kang's the, the the essay allegations from Kang, or you know, racism allegations. And the next topic we're about to talk now is. Is going to be a comic book artist that's that that's being accused of uh you know being a pest you know and that's the kind of shit that we talk about here. So, sometimes it's less heavy than that. Like one time we talked about um uh, you know the video games that are coming out are, and and uh, you know are are people are people you know justified in being angry at the quality of video games? We we got shit like that. So um, if you want no politics and you just want it to be like happy happy, I would say Blurred Cave is probably more your speed because. They talk in movies, talk in comics, and and you know, and and we usually get a little bit, a uh, little bit more political, if you will. So that's what this show's about. <laughs> but we have fun. Yes. yes. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. uh, actually, you know what? Uh, I, I I might. Yeah, I, I joked earlier at the begin at the beginning of the show like yeah, we don't have like a a lead in you don't have like a line yeah i usually because we, we when i open up the blur cave i always say oh the number one comic book news stream on this or any other than multiverse mm-hmm. actually i'm gonna change that i'm gonna call it the 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 comic book news stream that makes other comic book news streams don't go live on saturday uh, <laughs> <There you go. laughs> but uh <laughs> but uh elite uh, elite x1 actually uh, brought up something he said uh, double meaning also nerds of culture but also nerds of the culture i, I like that i, I, we, I i'm, I'm gonna dash yeah I, look I'm, I'm 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 still in that i'm still in that there you go i'm still in it we're gonna here i'm gonna with a dash with a dash is awesome yeah yeah look look you might you might even make me go back and, and redo the logo shit uh, <laughs> Put a little but, orange, uh, uh, little orange square in there. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna talk about uh, Ed Pisker, uh, artist, uh, who actually already got him, uh, already got him pulled up right here. Bam. Mm. So Ed Pisker's in trouble, y'all. In trouble. Yep. Yeah, Mm-mm. he. Mm-mm. He'd have been caught out here, been caught out here slipping. What's that book you wrote, Red Face? Yeah, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe. I believe that is like a horror, like a horror book. See, it's another one. Yeah. Nah, you were too good. You were too good at that. You were too good at that. (laughs) There was another one I think that uh, he was a part of too. Something like hip hop, something or other. And I, I every time I looked at it, I felt like this seems racist. Uh uh I was like this. uh I was like I was like this seems vaguely like not even vaguely this seems whole ass racist but i'm not 100 percent. if you know what it was it was one of those um okay this is what it was it was one of those moments where you see something you can kind of already tell it's problematic Mm. and while you want to do your due diligence to ensure that you're not misinformed, you probably are safe in just assuming without tainting your eyes with some bullshit. Uh, and that's kind of how I felt about a lot of it. Uh, Cause here's how I know uh, Ed Piskers cause of uh, uh, grand design. Grand design. Yeah. Which was uh, uh, for those uh, not in the know, uh, it was something Marvel was doing for a while there, where uh, you would get a um, uh, you get like a, a an issue here, an issue there. Like I think it started with X Men Grand Design, and mm-hmm. basically what it was is it would be like a re, it'd be a retelling of the history of the X Men, kind of like boiled down into like a, a a very quick easy read and even in some cases with some extra added context i was gonna say mm-hmm. they, they would like sprinkle in some like diet retcon a little bit like mm-hmm. oh okay i see they, they kind of changed it a little bit yeah. there but yeah but not so much a retcon but like bro right. oh, the context you said like oh that's yeah. why he did it 
watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're pretty. Yeah. They, could, they could be interesting. They were. Yeah. I think they did. That, didn't they do one for? I think they did one for Fantastic Four as well. Uh, oh, I don't know. I, I believe like, there was. I know. Yeah, I think they did one for Fantastic Four as well. I I didn't keep up, but it was one of those things. Like it was cute, but at the same time, for me, being as intrinsically like just dialed in to the mm-hmm. X Men, it was one of those things. I was like, this is good for people who like if you don't really know anything about the X-Men or maybe you're out of the loop on X-Men. I was like, yeah, sure. This is fine. But like, for me, I was like, you're not, I I was like, you're not telling me anything. I don't, I don't know. They did Uh, a, uh, they did a two volume one for Hulk. They did one volume for Fantastic Four. And then they did a four volume one for X-Men. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, God damn. Um, I'll have to look into that. Like it, it was, I I enjoyed them, but like it was one of those things. Like once they kind of came and went, I was like, okay, cool, moving on with my day. Um, I know this is not, I know this is not the point, um, mm-hmm. but I will say the problem I had with Grand Design. I was actually thinking about this earlier. The problem I had with, with Grand Design is the problem I have with like all nerd media, like comics or video games. If you don't look dope, I kind of i can't i can't force myself that's the kind of me and me and uh chris go back and forth like you know you know we we tease each other because you know he he's down to play like oh he likes old school he can play old school games like that i'm just kind of like yeah i don't like shit that looks like that like yeah but the story is dope man i kind of like it looks dated like like this shit is this shit is like yeah but the graphics like duty water so i don't want to play it yeah and that's how i felt about grand design i was like i I read one it was interesting but i'm like this shit looks like it's old as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I kind of I'm not man, I don't know how to say it. Well, you know what? Fuck that guy. Um I like I'm... retro reboots, Elite. <laughs> I like I'll tell you what I like. I'll tell you what I like. I like okay. Here's where I draw a line. When you give me something like uh um birds of prey. The the current uh the current Birds of Prey series where everything kind of looks uh um it looks kind of retro. Uh-huh. You know, like in terms of like kind of old school. Okay. Like I but like it, shit like but this. Not though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah. still looks new. Uh-huh. But it has like a um it has a like new a new gods vibe to it right there. Right, right. Yeah, like yeah. like yeah, when yeah, you yeah, look yeah, at yeah. like uh here, here's another one. Like you see like this image here, I'm gonna zoom it in some. Like uh-huh. the way they have everything, it's like it looks old school, but it still looks mm-hmm. new school at the same time. I like shit like this. I like shit yeah, like I, this. I, I, I can dig this. I can dig this. Yeah. But when you start talking about like and let me see if I can actually uh I'm gonna see if I can actually like uh find one to kind of you know just just to just to make a point just to just to make a point it's not that i think ed pisker's work is bad Mm. it's just not for it's not a it's not an art style i would prefer to look at while i'm reading something if that makes any it reminds me of kind of art who's the dude did he he didn't do mad uh, mad magazine did he who's that dude i don't know uh you know what I'm talking about though, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know exactly. Yeah, no, I know exactly. It, it, it looks similar though. It Al, looks Al, J- Al Jaffe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. His art looks uh, kind of similar here. Like just this is uh, this is just to kind of give you a, a taste. This is kind of like what his art looks like, more or less. Mm-hmm. Which I mean, it's, yeah. it's not like I said, it's not bad. It's just it's not. Oh no. Yeah, it's not I something can't draw that. Like that. Yeah, I mean, no, like, yeah, I don't want to see it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> but uh, uh, but no, Ed Pisker, he's in the news right now. Uh, if if the first image I had pulled up, uh, you didn't give the game away. Uh, where uh, you kind of see it's a little cut off, but uh, Pittsburgh Cultural Trust postpones Ed Pisker exhibit amid sexual misconduct uh, allegations. And the reason why these allegations uh, are a thing is because someone came forward and basically put him on blast. <laughs> uh, which, you know, not going to lie, love to see it. Um, and it wasn't just one either. It was multiple women. 
<laughs> like it wouldn't you, you know what it kind of reminded me of it reminded me of bill cosby oh, it man. was like it was like oh it's just one woman yeah oh man i thought I don't you were know. gonna say oh dude where the uh a uh, hundred women signed a letter who's that guy oh shit. uh oh. you know what i'm talking about yeah 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 we all here googling. Well, it's Google yeah, time. Yeah, it's like yeah. I actually, I'm about to Google. He's a writer, right? Hundred. Warren Ellis. Oh, he. There Warren Ellis. Yeah, it was Warren there Ellis. Oh. Um, You'll have to Google comic writer hundred woman letter Warren Ellis. Boom. Number Warren one. Ellis. Bam. <laughs> done. Done. Well, and that's kind of what. Yeah, it actually did kind of remind me of that like it's like oh oh it's just it, uh, maybe it's just one maybe 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 you know, like I could in my head I'd be like you know what I'm gonna believe the woman I want to hear the woman out I want to hear what she has to say but at the same time I can also kind of be like. But I, I, w- I want to hear the other side of this as well. I want to see how they respond to this and this. Because basically, how the abuser in the situation responds usually tells me everything I need to know. Mm-hmm. Like, the, the, mm-hmm. the abuser tells me more than what the victim does. That's it. Like, if, if a woman comes forward, and, and, you know, let's take woman. Let's take gender out of the equation. Mm. Any person, regardless you know, of gender, comes out and says, I was sexually assaulted by fill in the blank person. Mm -hmm. If the abuser, if their response is, I don't even know what they talking about, man. Look, oh man, look, I I took, I, we went out to eat and, and, and I thought we had a nice time and yeah. you know, it, it, everything was totally consistent. Like if that's your response, I'm going to be like, yeah, you probably did that shit. <laughs> Maybe you say some shit like, uh, like, oh, yeah, she's saying she wanted to leave. But when I said, let's come up closer in the bed, she screwed up closer. And then she didn't lie next to me. She, like, laid a little part of me. But obviously, she wanted to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Did. Yeah. It's like, it's like, you did. <laughs> did she? Did she really, though? <laughs> Maybe she was worried you might unalive her. I don't know if, if, if she did. not. Mm-hmm. But but no. But when someone is more calm about it, they're like, well, I, I can't speak on this right now because, you know, yada, yada, yada. But I, uh, you know, I, I, I we're going to ha- have this out in court. I'd be like, you know what? Who knows? But like, mm-hmm. but yeah, like the the responses, I don't even think I've seen at I don't know if I've even seen at Pis, uh, Pisker's response to any of this. But but basically the long and you, short. You, we, we, we might have. Oh, 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 the you and your screenshots. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah. Yes, we did. Might, Never mind. Might. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Let me hit the let me do, let me do a little. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. We got to make sure we come ourselves. <laughs> so Ed Pisker. This past weekend, the allegations came out when a young here. Actually, I'm gonna pull this up. because you know, Why am I hiding this from y'all? Why am I hiding this from y'all? Y'all, y'all, y'all should see this. Here you go. Here you go. Matter of fact, let's let's see. Can we? I wonder if it's actually going to show the right thing. Let's see here. Is it gonna? Uh, is it? Nah, it's not. Okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, point of the matter is, um, so Ed Pisker, cartoonist behind such acclaimed works as Hip Hop Family Tree and X Men Grand Design, notice they left out that other one, has been accused on social media by multiple women <laughs> of grooming. Uh, and other forms here. I'm gonna zoom this in just a little bit more. Just so, ooh, wait, mm-hmm. that was a little too much. Uh, a little too much mustard. Um, of uh, of grooming has been accused on social media by multiple women of grooming and other forms of misconduct. The accusations began this past weekend when a young female presenting cartoonist whose name we are not publishing here shared screenshots of DMs with Pisker via Instagram stories. The screenshot showed dated DM conversations with Pisker that took place in 2020 when the cartoonist was just 17 and Pisker was 38. Based on the screenshots, Pisker was aware of her then age and calls the cartoonist a naughty girl Mm. and says she'd be a good partner in crime before asking, you're not a snitch, are you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Remember how, what were we talking about? Was it, was it, I think it was on my stream where we were talking about, oh yeah, we've been referencing it with the whole fucking, uh, 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 Lumpy, what'd you call them? Uh, oh, lumpy, lumpy and dumpy. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, 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 not fit, fit and fresh or whatever. Yeah, not but fresh these, and like, not so fit. <laughs> we were, we were like going like, all right, let's hear her side of it. Like, I was trying to like show signs that I didn't want to be there. Boom, that's it. Period. 
Case closed. That's yeah. it. That's all you need. No yeah. consent, right? Same thing here. You're not a snitch, are you? Boom. Done. It's Case gone. closed. That's it. Case closed. Case well, fucking what fuck, closed. What the fuck would you say? What the fuck would you be saying that for if what you were saying had, had was nothing wrong with what you were saying? You know? Right. Like, the fuck well, I mean, here. here, I think, is this it? Uh, no, wait, this is the those one. Are the where, text. Yeah, those are the yeah, texts. Yeah. yeah, these are the texts. I want to see. I'm trying to see which one of these is is which but, okay yeah no this is i thought i had one of them here maybe i don't hold on here we got it here we'll do it like this bam mm. they're right here oh uh, we'll just well yeah these are the same ones so it doesn't matter mm. but well, actually no here let's do this because i can zoom these in a little bit better. you could you could uh right click and open a new tab and then you could zoom there yeah you yeah we're, we're here we got we got it right here Boom. bam bam Boom. right here so are you 17 or 18? I'm going to be so mad if you say 17 because this crushes me at that age. Okay, first off, why? Bro. Why would you say that? Because he's not, he's, he's being friendly. Anytime I'm just being like professional and friendly with somebody, I go, I say shit like, you're not gonna get me in trouble, are you? You're not. You're not eighteen. Oh man, what? What is if everybody only, flipping out about? What are you talking like, about? It, it, yeah. you, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I don't think like because I want to make sure I'm clear on this because I feel like there are situations where it's okay to ask if someone is of age. Okay, <laughs> but but like, well, once I hear go. seventeen, <laughs> no, 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 once I hear seventeen, like like if you say anything, like if you say anything that is under eighteen, the conversation immediately ends. I'm gonna say, madam, you have a nice day. Um, you go, you go over that way. I'm gonna go over this way. And we never might again. Be forgetting <laughs> with the two meet, with the twain meet, right? Or never in the twain like shall we meet again. <laughs> As like, like, like at that point, you become like, like oh, let me, like let me just be real with you. At that point, you are just a colleague to me. At that point, you're See? just colleague. We can be friends. We can be friends. But, but if someone sees me next to you, I am holding you for the police. You have so done something deal. wrong. <laughs> here's the deal. Uh, there's a there's a part of that equation mm. that I'm not sure we're factoring in right now. Okay. Even if she's 18, mm. but she wasn't. She was not. This mother this motherfucker is 38. That <laughs> now we're not talking about no. law here. I'm not saying it would be illegal. No, I'm just talking from a legality but standpoint. Yeah. You're right. Hundred percent. Hundred from a well, decency I just, standpoint. I just, I just no. want to say out the gate, you know, <laughs> if if like if my buddy's 38 and he says he's hollering at an 18 year old, we're not friends anymore. That's no. weird. No, that's, well, that's why I, I, I'm not saying that you're a pedophile you know, no whatever definition no, you want. That's just weird. too weird for me. You got to do that shit over there. No, it's <laughs> weird. No, I, I'm not. Well, no, the thing. It tells me a lot about a person because like. That's it. OK, so for me personally. I generally keep friends of different age groups. I have friends that are in their 20s. I have friends that are in their 30s, friends that are in their 40s, just like me, and then friends that are in their 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. You know, but I personally feel like when a person is of a certain age, like right now, me, I am a whole 41-year-old man. If mm -hmm. something were to happen one day, let's just hypothetically speaking, if something were to happen where I were to somehow suddenly find myself single, and it's like, well, time to get back out in the dating pool. Do you know the last thing I would want? An 18-year-old yeah, yeah. woman. Or I, honestly, mm -hmm. I would call an 18-year-old girl. That's a, yeah. That's a, it, like, that's the last thing I want. I don't want that. Yeah. It, 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 like, it, well, for one, the closer in age you are to my child than you are to me, the weirder it just looks the weirder it 100%. looks like, like it, it's, it's kind of like how a uh, man, I'm trying to remember what it was. There was some, 
don't know if it was a movie or TV show, something I was watching, whatever it was. But like, yeah. it was something where like, there was like a, 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 um, oh, I remember now. It was that old Alicia Silverstone movie. I think it was called Crush or something. Where like, okay. you know, she's hitting on the dad. Of you know, know the girl she's about. friends with, yeah, it's like I know it was, what you're talking about. And like she's laying in the in the in his dreams, the 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 rose petals. Oh well, the, okay, that's um American Beauty. That's American, American Beauty. Beauty. No, not but, that but, one. Yeah, yeah but okay. that's even weirder. That's even weirder. Right. Like right. midlife crisis, be damned. Mm -hmm. There is nothing a girl either in high school or fresh out of high school can do for me other than direct me to where the grown women are. That's it. That's all you could do for me at this point. All you can do is say like, like, I'm like, ma'am, can you tell, are the grown women over this way? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day here. Uh, 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 run along, run along. I don't, I, 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 I don't want to be, no, I don't want anybody to get the wrong, wrong picture. Um, That's it. That's it. But G yeah. Martinez, let me just say real quick. Yeah. G Martinez, Meg, I am glad. I, this is how you know I'm sleep deprived. I got like four hours last night. Uh, I'm on. I'm on pure Adderall. I I probably read G Martinez's comment like five times, because I'm like, it felt like he was like, you can put it on the screen that way nobody like <laughs> misunderstands what I'm trying to say. Oh wait, which understand. one? Which one? Uh, help, help me understand why a 30 year old can't mess with. Oh, and I'm thinking like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought it was like, why can't I? Why can't a 30? I'm like, first of all, dude's 38, and I thought, and like, nah, I feel like I'm missing something. And I read it again. I'm like, yeah. And I read it again. And then I read, it, why can't? Oh, why oh, can't mess with you. Okay, now? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, like, I'm <laughs> I'm glad you were talking because I'm impulsive like a motherfucker. I'm glad you were just talking because I'm like, I'm not going to interrupt them. But as I'm waiting for you to get done, I'm like, because I sure as shit almost went in. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, no, but, but no, I, you I tell echo. me. Where <laughs> <laughs> no, I echo the sentiment though, because yeah, there's like, here's the thing there's nothing we can talk about, hmm. there's nothing for us to discuss, there's That's nothing it. that you and I can share that. I that that, that would be on, we, we have different life experiences and and honestly as and, and you know the older I've gotten the the less I'm able to I don't want to say empathize but just the less I'm able to be able to relate. be yeah yeah to relate like like case of point yeah. if a teenager is complaining to me about teenage shit you know what I'm gonna be thinking the whole time. Wait till you get fucking grown. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's a it's a it's a. It takes effort to like try to be empathetic to teenage problems. Like knowing, yeah, that it's a big deal to them. But you know, but in hey, the grand I, scheme actually, of things, it's nothing. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll actually add another one. I'll actually add a different one here. Mm -hmm. uh, relatability is one thing for me, being as immature as I am. Um, like how old is Chris? You know what I'm saying? Like Chris is nine years younger than well no more than that like 11 years 12 years younger than me right mm. uh, most of my friends are at least like i would say you're the like the closest i would say if i had to think you're probably the only one who's like in my age range but you're mm. another dude who likes video games couple in our generation that's not super common you okay, know what i mean yeah. And so I find myself sometimes i'm like man maybe i'm a little immature i don't know my friends are always like at least five years younger than me right so maturity, okay, all right. Here's what I'm, here's my thing. Here's my thing. It kind of goes back to what I was misunderstanding earlier and, and what Jim Martinez says. Like, what is it, what is it, a 30, 30 something year old person? Like, cause let's be real. I've said this before. I said this on Left Face. I've said this a million times. Like, look, if you're trying to tell me Women peak at, at 18, 17, 18, 19 years old. If that's peak, if that's peak beauty to you, there's oh only God. two, there's only two things here. You're porn brained, right? You don't really, you don't really understand that, right? Um, or you're a predator. Because as we grow, and I'm just talking biological. Hold on, I gotta give you this. <laughs> You got it right. Out of here. I, I, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look, it, 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 look. 
There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so here's the thing. He's like, I mean, just look. I mean, we just look like as biologically, they're fully grown. We're talking body, whatever, whatever it is you like in a woman is probably going to be peak at about 27, 28, 29. Right. And by mm -hmm. the way, if you're only looking at women for like physical value like that, you're probably already starting off on the wrong foot anyway. But I'm just already starting off. Just I'm giving that to I'm giving that already. I'm just giving that out the gate. OK. Um, e even if you want to start off with something so shallow then I would say you're still not correct because you're getting full grown, full body woman at, at that. Not, and then you start talking about psychology, your brain's not done developing to about 24, 25, right? So again, we're talking early 30s, mid 20s to early 30s. And that's again, being shallow mm -hmm. as if yep. women only have value when they're hot. Even if I only get that to you, you're lying. So why are you not dating people your age? Why are you looking at people like you know, 18, 17 years old? Okay, we don't we're not going 17, 18, 19 years old, yeah. even when they're legal, and you're in your 30s. There's oh, only man. one thing that tells me. Yeah. You're looking for somebody that you can manipulate. You're yeah. a predator. It's legal. I'm not saying you need to go to jail or nothing, but we're not cool. Yeah. You're a predator. It's weird. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. I like even even for me, like I remember this was like maybe at least nine years ago. I remember these this uh young lady used to come into my store all the time when I worked at like GameStop. She was younger than me, uh like, but at that time I was in my like mid thirties and she was clearly like kind of just getting into college. Like, so even then, even as like a 34, 35 year old guy, the prospect mm -hmm. of a woman hitting on me that is like 19, 20, mm -hmm. even then, mm -hmm. it was weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm still out there. Yeah, yeah. I'm I was saying, flattered. Like, okay. <laughs> You know, oh yeah, no. But I, I mean, it's same, I was like, it's the same thing if like a gay dude like, hit on me. I'm like, right, yo, if a gay same. dude hit on me. I'll be like, okay, I'm not gay, but yeah, I, I appreciate it. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, you no. Know, like, <laughs> well, okay. First off, I'm, just, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Uh -huh. It it hasn't happened often, but the handful of times that I can recollect that a gay man was attracted to me, I was flattered because for one, it's very presumptuous to think that just because a dude is gay that he has no standards. Like, I, I used to always hate that shit, like, when, like, you know, uh, 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 like, in high school, when, like, yeah. if someone would find out that someone in the group was gay, and they'd be mm. like, I mean, I'm cool with him as long as he don't hit on me. He like, it's like, first off, <laughs> like, dude, you're probably way too yeah. ugly for for, for his, because, yeah, because they, they assume that, yeah. that, oh, well, women find me attractive, so obviously a man would you're looking at two completely different spectrums of attraction. Right. So right. like, yeah, the handful of times I, I, I don't even think I could use up every finger on one hand, but the, the handful of times that it has happened, I was like, damn, I'm a bad motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. That's yeah, a yeah. fucking ego <laughs> boost right there. <laughs> That's bump you up a little bit as it should. As yeah. It should. yeah. Look, that got me through like a tough month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, damn, I'm out here striking out with the ladies, but man, yeah. At least I know dude over there thought I was cute. <laughs> I was like, I mean, it really is like level, right? It's, it's, it's where that feeling goes. You know what I mean? Like, right. I mean, it'd be the same thing if like your 14 year old daughter's friend says your dad's hot and you overheard that. But, Obviously, I don't give a fuck what a 14 year old thinks and that's right. not attractive. But I'm like, eh, I'm the hot dad. Woo -woo. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. Because I don't give a fuck with her. You know, but it's right. just like, yeah. But I'm when cool you start going like, ooh. So do I have a chance? That's when you're like, okay, That's, you're the yeah. stop being, you're you're being a weirdo. You're being a weirdo. Yeah, I, I will say this much though, just to put the <laughs> shoe on the other foot real quick. Oh yeah. There is an age, and this is why I stop agreeing. This is why I kind of get into these kind of conversations about this stuff. Mm -hmm. Um where depending on the group I'm talking about I'm talking to, it's like 
in one second, I'm arguing in the way that I've just argued, right? You're a predator, et cetera, et cetera. And then there's another group that I that starts talking, and then I'm like, nah, you're weird too. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no. And that group is, there is an age where I legit don't give a fuck. Like, it, you are an adult. Mm. And let me tell you something. If I'm 55, if I'm 60, if I'm fucking 150 with bion bionic limbs and I want to date a 35-year-old, I'm going to date a 35-year-old. Yeah. And not one motherfucker is going to make me feel bad about that shit. No. Um, and, and we start talking about, what do you have in common? That's a grown human being. Yeah. You know, they're done biologically. There's she no got predator. debt. You don't... Yeah, yeah <laughs> she, exactly. She, she paying bills. <laughs> she got debt. She got dead stretch marks. She got all She got it all. <laughs> but I hear that shit. I hear like, that's disgusting. I'm like, why? Like, she's 36. He's 56. That's 20 years. Like, shut the fuck no. up. No, I'm gonna tell you so what, dumb. <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell you what's disgusting. Lusting after like like lusting after a woman who literally just a day prior was in the cafeteria line at a high school. Yeah, that's the shit right there. That's the that shit. That to me is fucking yeah. disgusting. Yeah, what, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yes. By the way, that's the shit. Yeah. Don't clip that. You know what I meant. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. What I meant. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, like, yeah, that's my shit right there. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. high school lunch lines? <laughs> <laughs> I like No, I'm not going to say Because no, I don't want to get clipped out of context. But no, right. I I remember, and yeah, I don't want to put, I don't want to make it hot. I'll just say that someone I know who I I, I have a, a tie to, uh, I remember, because uh, I knew this person when they were younger, you know, uh, when they were a teenager, and they were dating a guy who was like, like it just put it full disclosure. I think they were like 14 years old and they were dating a guy who was like 18 or 19. Now I know what some people are probably going to say, well, that's not that far apart in age. Here's where I'm going to stop you. Um, at this particular point in time, this 14, uh, year old girl barely 14 had, and, and what age 14 and like 18 or 19. Which still, that's weird to me. That's no, still weird. To no, me. that's no, that's fucking. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 well, it, and I, I say this because at this point, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I say this because at that point in time, she wasn't even fully developed. So when I'm talking to this guy, because you know he would show up at functions where mm. I was forced to interact with him. Mm. I remember one day I just asked him. I was like, dude, can you be real with me for a minute? I was like, what do you see in her? Oh, well, I mean, like, dude, she's real smart and uh, you know, just, yeah, you know, she's really fun to talk to and she's into all the same stuff I'm into. I said, yeah, yeah, that's cute. I was like, but physically, what's the attraction? Because mm. I wanted to see what he would say. This is where the stuttering and stammering begins. Mm. Because now he knows that I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he also knows his answer will likely get him punched in the mouth. Because mm. I was like, I said, I'm going to be real with you, dude. I, cause I told him, because like, you know, watching him stutter and stammer over his words to try and figure out how to answer the question that would get him the least amount of damage. Yeah. I just kind of looked and I was like, I said, I'm going to be honest with you, dude. I don't see it. I was like, not because this person is related to somebody I'm dating, but because I don't see anything to be physically attracted mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I see this person and while yes, I kind of see them as like a, sister like figure like a younger sister little sister like figure i also at the same time see this person as who they are a person who barely has a a, a, a titty between them and mm -hmm. they still look like well you know, they are you know 14 it years was, old it now was, it was they a look like a 12 year old 
Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah it, they, was, they, it was they, a red flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was hundred percent. Not, like, not to say, not to yeah. say though, not to say just you know just for just yeah. to put out there because I know you're I know you're not saying this, but just yeah. to put out to the universe, there are thirteen year olds, twelve year olds with deep cup oh. titties. Oh, and and yeah, and yeah, people yeah. try to use that shit like, yeah, but I mean, she looked like a woman, like bitch. You know how old she is. Shut the fuck up. Right. But you're yeah. even worse than that. You don't even, you can't even fall back on, on no. you know, development she has. Not that that's no. ever an excuse anyway, but you can't right. even say that. She's right. she's that age and she's not developed. What the, like, where are you going with this? You're just, you're just so fucked up at all, you know, all right. Always. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's, it, it just, it like, it's one of those situations where I look at him just kind of like, ew. Mm-hmm. Like not Paris, like you'll, yeah. Age age is divided by two plus seven. Um, like I said, I would say that's good for maybe like a certain age bracket, right? Maybe mm-hmm. like if you're th- like if you're thirty, I don't think that works, right? So fifteen plus seven, twenty two. Okay, yeah, I feel you. I yeah. feel you. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like thirty, but again, when either one of the person breaks, I don't know. I don't have a hard number, but I would say probably like twenty seven or so. Yeah. If either human being yeah. in this interaction is older than 26, 27, there is no amount of math I give a fuck about. Yeah. They like, can go marry an 80 year old for I give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's like teens and early 20s. Cause like, yeah, by the time you reach like 27, 20, 29, 30, whatever, I feel like you've lived life. You've lived enough of a life to be able to make an informed decision on who you want to date. Yeah. At that Your point, mental development yeah. is, is done, not through experience, but definitely through biologically at the very least. You know 100%. Hundred yeah, yeah. percent. Yeah. Um, G Martinez, yeah. what is the motivation? It is literally it, it it when people say predatory, I'm not using a buzzword. Yeah. Um I'm I mean literally that is what like when you look at red flag, uh uh the red pill dudes, when you just listen, and we're not talking about putting words in their mouth, when you just listen to what fresh and fit <laughs> says. Have it. Sometimes you can be that person to help somebody recognize what they're doing. With the <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I mean, it's, so it's yeah, a gift. You, it's a gift. You, you just explain it. You just explain yeah. it. It should be easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, go but ahead. Yeah, go you ahead. Just tell me why. Tell me why. <laughs> just listen. Listen to these dudes talk. Listen to them. What they tell other women on their panel. What are they saying? That you're losing value as you get older. That older women have, they say it. They, I'm saying, they don't even really like hide it. They just say it out loud. No, no, they don't. Yeah, they'll just, they'll be like, they, they have damaged. They've gone through too much. They've this, they've and that. The, the, the I body can mold count. this one. Yeah. Body count, yeah, yeah. So then I don't have to be insecure about you know being compared to other men. I can mold them. Like they, they admit all the things. Yeah, you know what I mean. They, they don't care. That again, I hate saying this out loud. I, I'm sorry I keep doing the disclaimer because women are more uh, uh, are valuable than their looks. It should right. just be about their looks. But even if you were a shallow piece of shit, mm. I mean, I'm, I'm repeating myself now, but that's not when they're the hottest. Right. And so if you're worried about molding them and if you're worried about their body count and their experiences, and we know they're not physically at their peak yet, it's literally just because you're a predator. So you can control this person. That's it. And here, I'd real quick because I want to hit these for. Uh, well, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they said, uh, "Don't forget to hit the like button." Blur cipher uh, left family. Awesome episode so far. Also, thank you for hitting us with that. Nineteen ninety nine. Then 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 super chat. We appreciate that. Also, hey, Michael Defonte out here. We got a. Uh, Got to five. Says when I opened the hip hop book, thinking I get a comic history of hip hop. I looked, closed it, and need to get it out of my house. <laughs> get that shit out of here. <laughs> yeah, don't read that shit. Don't read that shit. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't what you. That's why I said it ain't what you think it is. <laughs> I'm a pretty young teenager. <laughs> We gotta, we, gotta figure, we gotta figure out the, the, yeah, the situation right. here. <laughs> He's like, well, look, I swear she showed me an ID before we got married. <laughs> wait, 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 let me let me ask this. Let, 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 let me ask this. Uh so does this make you an authoritarian? Are you an authoritarian? Damn. Uh 
Damn. <laughs> you had to be there. You had to be there. Man, imagine yeah, if this would have yeah. come up. Uh, but no, mm. <laughs> you said, mm. with the 199, <laughs> we appreciate you for that. Uh, we've also got another one here. Man Eater with the 499 says, when I was 18, this 30-year, this, uh, this 32-year-old took me out on dates, and I did because he was very attractive. But then he wanted me to try and do some things. No, sir. Men are gross. And here's the thing. 100%. It's... 100%. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. I don't know who needs to hear this. <laughs> but mm-hmm. people need to understand that you can be. I feel like at that, like at that gap, I feel like, yeah, the only thing I can be is your friend. Mm-hmm. And I don't mean like friend is in even, like it, and even then, yeah, yeah. Like I, I don't even mean friend is in like, oh, you know, I'm your friend, you, sure, you know, sure, sure. you know, friend, you know, that mm-hmm, kind of. Mm-hmm. No, no, I mean like just straight up, like I'm someone who you can, you know, call if you get a flat tire or something like that, I can come pick you up, or you need help moving, or you know, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm not going anywhere with you. Oh, like 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 if we go to like if we end up if we end up on anything that to me resembles a date it's because like you got your significant other there and my significant other there and we're just hanging out as a group that that's that, that's how mm. that works for me um mm. but uh yeah yeah that that that's that's all uh neither here nor there i just i just can't i just i, I just i just no, cannot I do it you. also uh I, man <laughs> Read your mind. Read your mind. <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you so much for that <sighs> gifted five blurred without fear memberships. Dude. I expect my 12 cents out of that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's what it's like, yeah. <laughs> I want my share. <laughs> but no. I, there's a nickel and six pennies shy on this thing here. <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean, but here's, here, here's, here's the thing though. Here's the thing though. I, I just want to say, uh, you know, getting, you know, cause I, I you know, I know yeah, we haven't really talked about the, the Ed, we haven't really talked about the Ed Pisker of it all. Yeah. But. Cause really, really the age uh, difference is kind of, when you think about it, yeah. it's kind of, I won't say the least of it. Right. It, uh, yeah. Because you know, it would be different if she was like 25 or something. Correct. But Correct. even if she was 25, you know, just, just so everybody knows real quick, this isn't a Warren L situation where she worked for him and she's trying to, he's trying to take advantage. Mm-hmm. He found a teenager that posted going back to what you were saying earlier about, uh, uh, um, uh, Cersei, you know, wanting to get on social media and stuff mm-hmm. like, you know what this girl is doing? She's an artist. Yeah. And she posts art. That was what she did. She didn't ask That's for it. anything. And she he slid into her DMs because she was an artist. Like right here. This, this like this right here. This, this right here is very telling. Like this is yeah, we kind of go from the naughty girl stuff. Uh and yeah, he says, "Oh, um oh, that was a part." Yeah. He says, "If we robbed some banks, you wouldn't rat me out, would you?" She says, "Wouldn't dream of it." I'd prefer to be the Raul Duke and Dr. Gonzo if that's an option. Oh, good girl. You give correct. First off, can I just say the com- the, 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 the terms that, that he is, I guess, was supposed to be like naughty terms of endearment. Girl. Uh-huh. Calling her a good girl and naughty girl and all this other stuff. It's very he cool. Yeah, he, this is, he's a sex pest and a groomer. Let's just go ahead and just put that out there. Mm-hmm. But then mm-hmm. you, you go down a little further. She says, um... Uh, this is after like he's sending her pictures of his home, and this is why she's saying uh, that is a beautiful sight. Uh, that's not even all of it. Like this isn't you know a dick pic. I don't want anybody to get that impression because yeah, you know, that's mm-hmm. kind of what I thought. I was like, oh shit, did he send her some shit? Like damn. But no, he's sending her yeah. There's pictures of his bedroom. And he says the last one's the back bedroom. Has a drawing table in there too. You can crash there if you ever wander into my side of the state for a few days and old video games and stuff like that. Like basically he's like trying to, he's basically, he's set, he's laying the foundation 
uh, mm. to to get her. Uh, uh, it's grooming. To, yeah, yeah. He's like, it's, it's this grooming. is a setup. Straight yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, this is the setup one on one. Yeah. Hey, we 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 stopped talking about it for a second, and and just in case you came in during yeah. our our age talk, uh, this is Ed Pisker, comic book artist, um, who one woman he's he's DMing right here, slid into her DMs. She's seventeen, he's thirty eight. Mm-hmm. He knows she's seventeen, but then we find out not a uh, one woman incident because once she finally said uh, she she called his shit out, a lot of other women said same. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and and right here, I want to I want to touch on this right here. She says, um, th- "This is actually her message right here." Let me. I'm gonna zoom us in. Replying to his. That's him. That's him texting. Yeah. Sorry if I've ever been. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, uh, I says, I unfortunately feel the need to state that this is not what this was about. I am not trying to say this. I was answering freely. I felt like he was trying to groom me. This is about the inappropriate nature of Ed Pisker's communication with me. I was way younger than him and starstruck that someone famous liked my art. I was posting to essentially no one but my friends, which. OK, first, of all, let me let me let me take this away for a second. because I, I want to make sure I'm clear when I say this. I think sometimes when these situations come up, because I remember this happened with Warren Ellis. Uh, people kind of said something similar, like, oh, you know, well, it was it was basically pay to play. So it's not like they didn't get anything out of it. Like, you know, they got to maybe be in some spaces they normally wouldn't be. No, that is exactly the problem. It's because you are taking a person's desire to be where you are and using it as a doorway to get your penis wet. To that, exploit somebody for sex. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Like, yeah. you, like, you're making the promise. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like and I'll, I'll even take the promise out. Let's take the promise out of it. Basically, on on your side, all you're thinking about is all the, the, the you know, the snatch you're going to be getting. But on their side, they're thinking like, oh, my God, this guy who's a legend in this business is noticing me. And, and this is my shot. Mm. Like, this is... This means I have what it takes, but all the while, that's not why they're interested in you. That's right. That's right. And that's kind of why mm-hmm. situations like this go as far as they do, because it is perfectly normal for a, I will not say perfectly normal, but I would say it's, it wouldn't be abnormal if a woman in the very same situation, like even if it, let's say, it's a let, let's say it's a, a singer. A singer is out there just putting her songs out there on YouTube to like you know five people listening to him, and all of a sudden one day I don't know Diddy comes along into the DMs and is like, man, I'm really you know, yeah yeah you got a great singing voice. Oh man, oh so yeah. she's, she's underage too. Okay. Yeah 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 exactly exactly <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 diddler the diddler has slid to the also. I just want to say real quick. I know we're not talking about it. Just it, it, it just is funny that it came up. AI is a motherfucker. Uh, people were for real out here making AI art of Diddy in the green suit like he was the an, a, a Batman villain. Also why they do his lips like that. But anyway, the see the AI is racist. Just, that's all I'm going to say. AI is racist, but no, You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like you, you see this woman and you know, she's like, Oh my God. You're, or I'll say young lady in this case. So yeah, she's, yeah, she's, let's say she's underage. Say, let's say she's 16, 17 years old. And she's thinking like, Oh my God, Diddy said, I'm a good singer. Do you mm-hmm. know what that does to like, I, like it just to kind of paint a perspective. I and you know because this is not the same thing, and I'm not trying to imply this the same thing. I remember the day that Joshua Kassara, a whole artist on X Men, saw my work and complimented my art. Mm-hmm. That fucked my head up for like six weeks. The whole time I was just like, well, "You can't tell Don't me shit." Tell me shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, man. Man, I'm, I'm a, I'm a look, look, I'm a bad motherfucker, man. Don't. <laughs> Bruh, look at me look and, and there was no sexual impropriety involved whatsoever on 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 any of that so imagine a a, a a young girl getting that same treatment from someone who she sees as you know a professional who who is where she wants to be that's exactly what's going to happen they're going to entertain that conversation 
if for no other reason, then they're not even thinking about the fact that you are grooming them at that precise moment in time. They're mm -hmm. still basking in the glow of, of, of being wrecked. It's literally the notice me senpai getting the acknowledgement. You, the, the, the junior has now been acknowledged by the senpai and you're just like oh my god oh my god like I, imagine it. it's, it's, it's someone taking advantage of the power dynamics right yes that's what it's always about that's what the predatory behavior is is mm -hmm. people taking advantage of power dynamics and you see people in the comments and be like okay so what's wrong i've actually talked to people in real life yeah so if a guy has you know so this is what was put to me. So if somebody has the power to give you a job and she's willing to have <laughs> sex with you for that job. Yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, if that's a, I'm like, bro, like it's not, no. First of all, there are, it could still be unethical, right? But that's not what's happening in these cases. If the yeah. only reason why she is sleeping with you is because you are what is between her and that job or him and that job or whatever, then that is the predatory behavior. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know 100%. what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, Mergo just said it right here. Pisker was approached out of the blue by Harvey Pekar uh, and uh, essentially gave Ed his big break. Ed knew full well what he was doing when approaching someone who was going to be impressed with him. That's right. So, yeah, this isn't like some... Oh, I had, oh, this, this I had no practice. idea. Yeah, it's like, no, not at all. You knew what you were doing. This shit you happens knew. a lot in the military, Paris. Huh? Yeah, I, I know, I know. I see it all the time. Bruh. You know what I see that shit with a lot? Believe it or not, I see that shit with officers. Officers. I, I feel like, like some pilots are the worst. Like, I don't know how many times I've seen pilots with, with younger junior enlisted people and then they, they she jumps in the car and they drive off i'm like first of all risking your whole ass career there's no way it's that good first of all second of all um it's it's the power dynamic is way too broad and they take advantage of that shit bruh every every time mm -hmm. every fucking he time <laughs> did, did, did he invite you over <laughs> i was like no, no i actually invited him to come be on the blur cave he did not accept <laughs> did, you, did he call you a good boy? <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, no, no. We, 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 we spoke very, uh, uh, it, it was, it was, it was very above board. It was very above That's board. Good. That was good. That's yeah. kind of how I feel when I say that, uh, every time I, every time I say that, uh, Man Eater talked to the, uh, was DMing the producer of, um, of uh of oh terrifier. terrifier yeah i'm always like i'm like yeah yeah she was dm and i'm like, not like that no. not like that <laughs> two consenting uh, adults can talk without like sex being involved or sexual right? impropriety it can happen when you're right. decent human beings <laughs> i know because i read all of the dms just and her GPS was still on, so no. So <laughs> wait, uh... <laughs> wait, he's like, wait, wait, wait. He's like, wait. Like, like, like that one night, man eater didn't come straight home from work. Came home about an hour late. <laughs> be like, hold on, let me. Where, where's find my phone at? Hold on, let me. <laughs> hey, wait. What do you mean? You, what, what do you mean? At the, what you mean? You at the Hyatt? <laughs> you told me you you told me you would stop. You no nah, no nah, uh uh. You told me you was gonna stop at Burger King and pick us up something to eat, and now it says you at the Hyatt. I want to know what's going on. The Hyatt. <laughs> this dude said the Hyatt. <laughs> Look, here's the deal. I will say this much. I say this, and, and people, people, people always get weirded out by this. I'm gonna tell you something. This is the truth. We have our find our friend finders on, and people are like, you could, you could tell where your wife is. Like, it's her idea. She thinks that she's gonna get kidnapped one day or something, and. And, and and she goes, and they're like, so you don't check it? I check that shit. I check it to see when she's on her way home so I can rush and, and start cleaning the house because I've been playing Dragon's Dogma for 12 hours straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I got I to be like, I'm like, oh, shit, she's on the freeway. I got I to gotta say. Yeah, like, it's I, not I a go. trust that she's on Wait, wait a minute. I was actually just about to click on the first one. I saw your face blurred. The disrespect. See, so this is exploitation right here because Maneater needs to be heard. She goes, okay, I'll pay you then. 
you're gonna see my comment. I'm like, calm down. Wait, wait, wait. wait so, is, is, so is this authoritarian? <laughs> She's being authoritarian by making you read that. <laughs> but wait, and did, I'm the low key racist too. I'm just saying, wait, wait. I don't and, know. and do I get a lollipop <laughs> at the end of this? And, yes. And is my now, you don't even have to get punched in the face. Nope, no punch. Okay, so I can <laughs> ask for a lollipop. I will not get punched. In the, I don't know. I don't think this makes her an authoritarian. I don't. I don't know. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Actually, wait, wait, wait. What is the definition? I mean, okay. can we can we settle nah. on the definition? Okay. <laughs> girl, girl, you. <laughs> I'm nobody, sorry. I'm sorry. No, nobody go watch that. Nobody go watch no, that panel. Nobody no, no, don't do it. 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 But you, but you, <sighs> can, go, you can go like it. You can just go. Yeah, go. Like on or something. See what you <laughs> see. No, what you do is see. See, I'm going to tell you how I'm supportive. What I'll do mm. is I will open it. I will mute the tab and hit the yep. like button and leave it up. There you go. That's what I do. There you go. I, that's that's kind of. That's kind of for that because I want you to get that watch time. I want you to get that watch That's time. That's the homie. That's the homie right there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, now, now I, wanted remember, to, I wanted to address something. Okay. Go oh, ahead. oh, no, I was gonna say, don't mute the video. That's right. Mute the tab. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, but go ahead, um, carry on, carry on, carry on. Oh, Elite X one said he didn't put that in his comics, did he? I'll tell you this much. Kinda. And kind of almost a little bit worse. Uh, if you yeah. look at the the uh, the the tweets, not the tweets. It was oh, she wait, yeah, there was a here. Well, I he think... was right. He was writing a book, and because she was talking about how gross it was. Because not only that, he's writing a book about uh, abused girls. Yes. Uh, here is Which this. Is... Here, wait, wait, wait. Is this? Let me make sure. Is this it? Was this the one? Or was it a different one? No, 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 no. It's in one of her. It's in one of her stories. Um, oh, because she, cause she yeah, was yeah, saying yeah. it was disgusting. Yeah, here it is. I think. I think is this. I don't know if it's this one. There's another one she actually has. Here it is. Wait, wait, wait. I think this is the one. Uh, double check. I'm just double checking. I don't know. Maybe it's not that one. Maybe it's not that one. Maybe it's this one. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. All right. So it's the one that starts. Damn, this is incredible work at the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. You let me. Yep. Yep. And right so here. All That's the way the down at the bottom. Yeah. All the way down at the bottom. That last paragraph. Yeah. So it says here. So seeing that I'm not just some random girl who can draw that he can groom enough to come to Pittsburgh to watch him do his stupid strip he's doing now about little girls from broken homes. Switchblade shorties is disturbing coming from a fucking creep who likes little girls. What yeah, the fuck? Switchblade shorties. Yeah. So Which do that slides yeah. into teenagers DMs. Yeah. And then he's writing a book about little girls from broken homes. No, yeah, no, no. Uh -huh. It was research. It was research. Bullshit. Get the fuck out of my face with that shit. It but was, yeah. yeah. It, method. Is it method writing a thing? I, I Maybe. I mean, that I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't. I really like I like it. I I really like what she says here. Um, you know, because she's very clear. Because a lot of people are like, "What's the problem?" Because you, you know, he didn't do anything. You didn't go see him, and she's yeah. and she's trying to be like, "Listen, it didn't work, right?" Like mm -hmm. I I saw through it. I was yeah. I was in uh, not enamored. That's not the word. I was starstruck at first, and then I saw the creepy shit. And then it got cut out. Uh, then he got ghosted, and I'm like. That's what that's where we're at. It's not that I was harmed. I'm not saying that I was harmed or assaulted or anything like that. Mm. I'm letting everybody know who this motherfucker is. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, and then it didn't stop there. Then all the women started coming up, and there's other tweets by her that, that talk about that. That other one that you pulled up. Oh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. One yeah, by yeah. Parketta. Now that one is we yeah. gotta say allegedly. Oh, um, yeah, here. Yeah, we got uh is a there you go. Uh, <laughs> allegedly, is is may or may not be him because yeah, like a sock it was an account. created. Uh huh. It was an account created in 2012, mm -hmm. and then it had like 20 something posts on it, um, and hadn't been used for years. And suddenly, when this drama uh, dropped, uh, it's active again and now has over 200, 300 posts on it. Oh. So like who? Who came out of retirement to start to start tweeting and defending uh, Ed here? 
What was uh Manny's ass up uh talking about uh uh Seth Rogan's best friend? What was the guy's name? The guy that was uh uh he was Harry Osborne. James Franco. James Franco, that motherfucker. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. you know we don't, we don't hear from him no more. Uh, uh <laughs> his shit's cooked. Which is which is a shame because I hate when I see people whose acting I like. Yeah. Like, oh man. I was like, dude, it was good. Yeah. But uh, but going through these things. Oh this. yeah, this is. Oh, this seventeen-year-old girl's misleading. Seventeen's not a child anymore. These seem pretty. Uh, uh, these seem pretty tame to me. Sixteen is the age of consent in Pennsylvania. Um, Fuck out of here with that. Oh, and then wait. Yeah. OMG, Ed Pisker called someone a naughty girl. Someone called the police. Come yeah. on now, dude. There's Look one in there this. where he's like, he's like, I guess he needs to go away for a thousand years. I'm like, but we know it's you. Yeah, it's like, we dude. know this is you. This is <laughs> you flipping out and trying to defend yourself. <laughs> this is almost as bad as Jimmy Dore and his sock puppet uh, <laughs> account and fiasco. Using it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, bro. It's like, man, why do you make it so easy? Like, you literally yeah. screenshot your That's phone and literally gave away where you were. It was the exact same location that Jimmy Dore was supposed to yeah. be at the same time. Come on, bro. Yeah. It just, replying, yeah. Replying as the sock puppet account to somebody who was writing to Jimmy Dore because he forgot to log back into Jimmy Dore. <laughs> right? Well, I think, yeah, I, think it's, I think it's funny, though, because I've seen this happen a lot. I've actually seen this happen a lot with sock puppet accounts where, like, I've had people who I'm pretty sure are the people who I've talked shit about come to me. Uh, but, but come to me trying to appear to be someone else. So they don't look crazy trying to defend themselves to make it seem like they got people out here. Cause that's why people mm -hmm. do that shit. They want to, they want to be able to fight you back when you call them out on their bullshit. Mm -hmm. I see it all. I, I, I honestly, it probably happens more than even I recognize, but I know there's yeah. been quite a few times where I have had people who I've criticized come at me, but under a fucking pseudonym, a uh -huh. fucking pseudonym account. <laughs> oh no. Out of the blue. Never, never heard of them before. Lots. Man. Yeah. Fresh Lots. dude. Fresh account. Got no followers, barely following anybody. It's mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, dude. All right. They're, they're either, they're either a sock puppet account or that's the account that they, that they say the N word on because they don't care if it gets banned. Right. I mean, it just, it is what it, it, it just, it, it is what it is. But, um, mm. I don't know. Man. I, like I said, I, I don't like, it's one of those things. Is, is, is he canceled? No one's ever really truly. It's rare someone's ever truly fucking canceled. Uh, bro, I, I'm so tired of hearing people talk about cancel. Like, bro, you know what I saw the other day? Man, what, what movie, what trailer we were see, we were watching. There's a movie coming out that looks pretty dope. And, and all this moving parts are happening. And I saw an Asian comedian who told a whole ass story about he raped a, uh, uh, an underage prostitute in Mexico. Wait, 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 wait. Was it the dude that was on, uh, was it the dude that no, was on beef? Different dude. A dude, different no, guy? Different dude. I already knew you were, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Mexican prostitute. Um, what's his name? Bobby Lee. 100%. Bobby fucking Lee. Get yeah. the fuck this, out of here. This, this motherfucker tells a whole ass story. Borderlands. That's what it was. He tells a whole ass story about a, a time he went in and slept with a prostitute. And I'll give, I'll, I'll wait, just wait, give wait. like the high notes. Wait, wait, Th this motherfucker right that's here. Him. Bro, yes. stop. Stop. Yes. yes. Yes, that's why I, I think about people. I think about this. I think about Dave Chappelle. I think about bro. Cancel culture is not real, bro. Like unless no. you break the law or piss off like really rich white people, it's not. Yeah. It's not. It's not real because this. I'm telling you, like, like just look it up. Bobby Lee story, Mexican prostitute. Just Google those words. He tells uh. a story about how he goes into a thing. He's on a podcast and he goes and he and he and he wants this girl. He goes into the bedroom and. And then he tells a story. It's not, he's not on stage. It's not a stand-up. 
It's a podcast. People, and this is the show. He's still just kidding. Bro, listen to <sighs> the tone of what he's saying. Even if he means to be funny, the tone is not, here's a made up story to make you all laugh. He goes, and then I, and then she turned around and man, and then, and then the, somebody else was on the, well, how old was she? He's, he's like, uh, and then, and then someone, and then another guy goes, 18. Goes, yeah, yeah, 18, 18. And then she goes, now nah. he's like, ah, maybe like more like 14 or 15. I don't know. And so then I, I got done and then she turns around and there was a little light coming through the window. Bro, I'm I'm telling you when when I say what I'm about to say, like, who the fuck is gonna tell me this is a joke? What the fuck is the punchline? He goes, and then you can see like the moonlight hits her face, and it's like she's crying. She was crying the whole time in tears. Bruh. That was the end. That was the end of the story. Where's the punchline? Where's the <sighs> Where's the flip? Where's the joke? The girl asks him, "Did you feel gross then? I bet you feel bad." He goes, "Nah." I kept going. I guess that's the punchline. He finishes the story later by going, I had to have more. I went back to TJ and that building, I guess it had been raided or something because then nobody was there. It was, it was all shut down. If you understand the structure of jokes about funny stories, about satire and just kind of like, like I'm just trying to make people laugh here. You would hear this. And go, this is not like a this is not like a a, a funny satire sat, you know, I'm just oh. trying to make people laugh. I'm just trying to be edgy. You told a story that fucking happened. It went all over the fucking internet. It was all over Twitter. Everybody was talking about it. And this motherfucker stayed having a successful ass podcast, and he's a character in the new Borderlands movie coming out. Also, I want to point out something. I when I I pulled up my phone to 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 Google this, and when I did. I'm going to tell you what I saw. I saw, I typed in Bobby Lee the very next thing that came up. <laughs> Mexico story. There it is. Bobby Lee, Mexico sta- story. That was the number one, number. it was the top result. Mm-hmm. Why? Mm-hmm. Why no, would you? No, but hey, cancer, cancer yeah. culture's a thing. Cancer oh, culture's a problem, dude. though. But no, see you the thing is you can't even ha- you can't even have sex with underage uh, underage sex workers that are probably getting human trafficked and you know yeah because you're gonna get canceled 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 I mean you, you might still have you know be a millionaire with a with a successful podcast <laughs> and get on a brand new you know Netflix bro- Borderlands look movie, but, let me tell you something yeah, I'm gonna tell you something yeah. right now if you got a Netflix special you're not canceled yeah get the fuck you're out not canceled of here with that. if get you the fuck out of here. If you are getting on interviews on The Breakfast Club and on uh, uh, Club Shay Shay and, and DJ Vlad and uh, Good Morning America and uh, uh, you know uh, Hot 97, whatever, no. Howard Star, no. You are mm-hmm. not canceled. Hell, if you haven't even been banned on like YouTube or TikTok or Twitter, you are not canceled. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. unless your ass is, like you said, unless your ass is in prison mm-hmm. under the jail, you are not canceled. Yeah. And I hate hearing yep. people say that. I hate people say, man, see, look, they canceled me. They canceled, because that was the shit I got tired of hearing Dave Chappelle say. Oh, they canceled me. Four, wait, what was it? Five, six Netflix specials later. <laughs> he still Millions they canceled each. me. Millions each. 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 Get the yeah. fuck out of my face with that shit. Yeah. You're not canceled, dude. Stop. Yeah. Like, stop. Mm-hmm. You, you're not. You, no, no. You know what it is? You're not canceled. You're just fucking corny. That's all it is. That's it. You're not That's canceled. It. You're just corny. That, that is on the on the rare occasion you might get you might see it. And then all it all it is when you really look at it is like, oh, OK, you're right on that one. They were canceled. Yeah. But they were, I just call that consequences. You know yeah, who's canceled? A, yeah. Bill Cosby was canceled. Yeah. You know, Roseanne Barr didn't go to prison. Canceled. Literally. Yeah. Show was canceled. And yeah. now she's a nobody. And, you know, I'm <laughs> no, sure. hey. she's, she's living off residuals from Roseanne. You know, she was, she, she was, you know what? Her show, no, her show was canceled, then rebranded, brought back as the Connors, and they killed her character off. Killed off her off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just made the show about her family, and they don't even talk about her 
No, uh, they don't even the fucking show. mourn. I think they did like two episodes of her mourning and then gone. Was now it, she's uh, Fox News commentator. <laughs> oh, what, what, what was the husband? What, what was a uh, 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 oh my god, why am I blank? John Goodman's character oh, was oh, Dan. John Goodman, uh-huh. Was it uh-huh. is the character's name Dan? I think it's Dan. I, 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 it's so, probably not. But right. point, point of the matter is Dan has moved on and is trying to get with. Uh 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 was it Peggy for married with children? <laughs> really? Yeah. He's moved. Does she on. have one eye? No. Does she have one eye? No, uh, no, no, no. She just... Is she the is she is she the old lady of a biker game? No, no. Like but 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 she's, I'm just naming different she, roles of She Peggy. still looks <laughs> she still so 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 basically she still looks the way like so you know like when actors reach a certain point where they're just forever gonna look like a role they played she mm. forever looks like Gemma Teller from Sons of Anarchy from 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 the uh. moment she was on that show she every role I don't give a fuck what she has been in she has been Gemma since I don't care like it I don't care if you saw her was there was that I country... liked her in that role oh no dude okay I let me let me tell you that something. role yeah she was I okay. remember being so mad. <laughs> I remember uh, being so mad at myself because mm-hmm. when I started watching that show and I was like, damn, I forgot that like, like I, I, I wasn't putting two and two together that that's, that that was married yeah, with children okay. happening over there. Uh, like I wasn't uh, thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, dude. I was like, dude, I was like, dude, Jimmy can get it. And then like, yeah. so I was talking to a friend <laughs> of mine. They're like, dude, they're like, what are you talking about? Dude, she could always get it. I was like, you remember who that is, right? And I was like, huh? I was like, and then like it was like the the sea of memories just flooded, like like hundreds yeah, of episodes yeah, of Married with yeah. Children. I was like, the fuck! I was like, dude, yeah. she aged good as hell. I was like, dude, I was, I, yeah, yeah. bro, look, yeah. I, I, that's I, why I, that's why I felt whenever I, I was not about the aging because it's a cartoon, yeah, but yeah. It, the, when it was Leela, I was like, somebody said that I'm like, and then all of a sudden it just all clicks. I, I had always thought to myself, oh, this is a long time ago. It's not recently. Yeah. But like you know, when I'm in my twenties, I'm like, why does that sound so familiar? Like, right, like Peggy. I'm like, I'm like, what? You know, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I said, yeah, she's so fine now. But she has one eye, and you know, but you know, I can live with that. <laughs> yeah. I, hey, look. I, I mean, here's here's my thing. My my thing with that though is just the fact that I was like, man, I now see why Clay was acting a whole fool. Dude, I see. Dude, I ain't gonna lie. Dude, if I was look, look, let me tell you something. Yeah. You know, you saw Clay didn't step out. Oh right? yeah, he, no, he, dude. He, he never said no. No, dude. Look, uh, uh, yeah. Sam Crow. Shh, I'd have been like, nah, nah. We running this. Yeah, come on in here, girl. <laughs> come on in here so we can run this shit. <laughs> oh wait, we got to fuck over your son. Yeah, and hey, look, he he knew he knew what this was. I'm, I'm look look. Yeah. Am I still getting it? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't do spoilers, even though it's been a hundred years. <laughs> Gemma, Gemma oh, dies. y'all never finished. Nah, I don't know. Uh, nah. <laughs> I will nah, say she, this. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm ahead of her, but yeah. Oh, gotcha. I, I will yeah. say this. Go ahead, man eater. Please go ahead and finish that, because uh, I, 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 yeah, yeah. You need to. You need you. Because I, because I want to start the Mayans after. So. <laughs> I started the Mayans, and for whatever reason, something happened. I stopped watching, and so much has happened. I'm just like. Nah, I just gotta play catch up. So yeah, that that is actually next on you my do that agenda. after after uh, Handmaid's Tale. Actually, I'm caught up. I'm caught up on Handmaid's Tale. Are right you? Now. So, yep, I I have Gee, watched I wanna, everything I, that's available. I need, to, I need to get caught up. And I feel I lesser for it because I've I I swear <laughs> to God I need to go talk to somebody. I need to go see. This I is need, what happens when I yeah. get addicted to a single player game. Yeah, you, you can have all this time to to watch movies and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, just say. <laughs> Hey, do you want to come play Hunt for 12 hours with me? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> That's what I have to do. I'm like, hey, man, you want to go hell dive for like you know, half a day? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I probably might do here in just a minute, uh, oddly enough. Uh, but um, mm-hmm. yeah, honestly, there was one more thing I kind of want to talk about. But you know what? Honestly, I don't even feel like it bears giving this motherfucker oxygen because he's such a fucking clown anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't. We, we're, so we're not going to bother with that. You know what? I think that, uh, man, dude, we've. Yeah, two two hours and forty eight minutes. We gave y'all a whole show. I feel like we no, gave y'all yeah. a whole show. No, so yeah. um, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, oh wait, here, I, quick I question. I forgot who it was. I forgot who it was, but you know, whoever it was, I forgot their name. If this was too deep a show for you, we apologize. 
my heart goes yes. out to you. Next week, next week, maybe we'll make it a little bit more fun. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try. <laughs> this was, I, yeah, we, 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 we tried to bring it back around. Oh, uh, yeah. I will say, uh, G Martinez had a quick question. I'll go ahead and answer real quick. It says, uh, is anybody else watching Paramount Plus interview the vampire series? I watched the first season. Is the second season back now? Cause I, I haven't heard anything. Which one? Which one? Uh, interview with the vampire. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I thought, thought Manny didn't want to watch that. I don't know if we have Paramount. We might have I to uh, watch it. I, I liked one. it. I liked it. Um, uh, I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Um, I liked the first season a lot because it, it 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 was different, but like it. I know some people got mad because it was like hyper gay, but I mean, they well, were hyper yeah. gay in the book so i mean i always assume that that every vampire is at least pansexual yeah well like i think the thing is i think people were thinking about the movie and the movie kind of downplays the homosexuality of the two Kinda. characters like like Kinda. not a lot but like like yeah they, yeah they make it seem more they make lestat seem more like a they, possessive friend than, right. rather than a possessive lover where uh, a product yeah. of its time a product of his time and yeah. and they did the only thing they didn't do was 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 kiss and, and have sex but i feel like every vampire i've ever seen outside of like underworld is always coded as mm. i don't give a fuck about gender yeah and as long as you have holes we're doing it <laughs> yeah i was just saying like i i i, I feel like it doesn't even bear saying but like that that uh, i i feel like people should know me well enough by now to know how i am and I guess maybe it's wrong to assume. It's wrong to assume. Uh, but I think I have said before that I like women. Mm -hmm. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Nothing else need be said beyond that. I like women. There you go. There you go. There you, and and there that's you go. that 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 is that on that. Uh, I true blood suke. Yes. I actually so, like so, so True Blood was was one. Yeah, yes. <laughs> True Blood was. Uh, here's the only thing I'll say about True Blood. True Blood reminds me of. Um, have any of y'all ever crashed on a bike because you were going too fast? No. Or watched the crash? Or watched, I've watched a motorcycle the crash. crash? So, so I don't mean a motorcycle, but I mean like even as a kid, like on a, on a bicycle, like. Like, you know oh, how like yeah 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 it, yeah, yeah. it kind of almost always starts with a wobble right and yeah that wobble just fucking flips out that's what it was like watching True Blood for me it was cool then it got crazy then it got really crazy then I'm like what the fuck is going on and then they're yeah. all having sex together and then it's like I don't know what I'm watching anymore and then it was like okay I'm kind of done this is kind of crazy this is wild <laughs> I started it I it lost I think by season three after I think after season three it lost me. Cynthia mm. kept watching it and I was around for a lot of it. And the whole time I was just like, yeah, I'm super good on this. Yeah. Yeah. I was I like, think yeah. I left on the season of the Druid. There was like a Druid witch girl and they would always have like every episode had at least one orgy because that's what she would do. Yeah. And then it I'm... turns out she wasn't a good, she wasn't a good Druid. She was actually a demon or some shit. Yeah. And it was yeah. like, yeah. I'm like, I feel like you're just using this as an excuse to just make sure everybody's dicks and titties are out. It, and, well, uh, you know, because that was peak HBO. <laughs> that was peak HBO yeah. back then. That was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Or, or I don't say peak HBO, but peak nudity and sex. Like, actually, that was a lot because I think you, uh, uh, Mutual of Ours, Judah, you, you, I think we talked about this in your server yeah. about uh, how I feel about Spartacus. The, I feel the uh, same way. Yeah, it's like, I love Spartacus. I love Spartacus, but man, that show is hard to recommend to people. Yes. yes. It is so it, it, difficult. It, sometimes he, he's my friend. I'm not talking shit. Yeah. But he was, he would frustrate me because sometimes he would reply to me in a way that's like, like I'm being like, uh, not like you're modest, being a word. Right. Right. He'll say, he'll say something along the lines of like, oh, no, I get it. But yeah, I don't really mind titties and stuff. I'm like, bitch, I don't mind titties either. But I'm saying like, it yeah. has to make sense. Like I think where I started falling off was there was a there, there was a there was a scene where the season started and, and if you love it you know what scene I'm talking about mm -hmm. and it was episode one of I can't I don't know what season uh, might have been but well here let me describe it it was it was he, she's cheating on him the the house leader dude the, the, yeah. the, the I forget what his name um and the wife is cheating on him. Mm -hmm. And she's 
having sex and he keeps cutting back from her sleeping with this dude and him getting his ass beat. Her sleeping with yeah. this dude. Uh, and yeah. Getting his ass beat. And it was like, I didn't, there was no connection there. It wasn't, there was no storyline about like, wow, like, like she's fucking him over right now. Like, no, I just kind of want to show you having her having sex. And yeah, then get her back low getting, now. Yeah, it was just like, what the fuck? Then there was another one where she, it was a rape scene. Was that Blood and, and Sand? You know? Not Blood and Sand, but uh, God, was that Gods of the Arena? I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know if it was. It had to have been after the dude died because he he only made it one season, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah, uh, it ha- I think I think that was Gods of the Arena because it was a flashback or some shit. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. Because yeah, he dies. Yeah. In, if, spoilers for a show that's been out for like over a decade or so. Uh, I mean, he dies in real life. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that that too. Um, that too. That too. Yeah. But yeah, it just but yeah, yeah. There was a whole scene of like the anal rape scene, and it was like it wasn't yeah. like oh oh it just happened over there, and she comes out crying like nope. It's like no, no that was the we're thing. like this is like this is like six minutes. We're doing a whole yeah. a whole sex scene, okay? And, and it wasn't linger. even like uh yeah, and and it wasn't even like uh what's the what's the fucked up horror movie that, that everybody's like nah that's a fucked up rape scene that's stupid uh uh, uh it's like in the woods or some shit um mm-hmm. you've even you've even talked about it you know what movie I'm talking about there's a there's a there's a oh a, a, a I spit on your grave movie. spit on your grave right yeah you know how like yes. Fucked up, fucked up scene, right? Yeah. But the one thing you can say about it is they're not trying to make it hot, right? No, okay. not at all. Not at all. It's nothing sexy In this about part it. of this, she's definitely been sold to this dude. It's definitely anal. She definitely doesn't want it. It's definitely rape. And yet, still hot the way it's being filmed right it's, yeah yeah you can tell you they're presenting it as like a like a sex scene they're like, trying to make it titillating ah. at the same time right. like right. like the music they're playing is sinister but at the same right. time they're still kind of shooting it like with that cinematography and then like, her body yeah. and then her titties yeah 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 it wasn't it wasn't struggling yeah. it was it was like it was a yeah. right around that point where i'm like yeah bro I am not shy about telling people I like porn. You know, me, my right, wife, yeah. you know, maybe maybe TMI. Like, porn is not a problem here. It's, no. not, it's not about it's not about prudeness. It's about I'm watching a story. This shit doesn't make sense. And I this think you're no just showing titties. Yeah, you're just trying to like get and I don't say I'm feeling kind of offended. You're like treating me like I'm a fucking idiot. I'm gonna go watch something else now, you know? <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah, uh, Rough Rider, yeah, that was uh Lucy Lawless on that show. Yeah, so Xena, yeah. Which was also mm. crazy because I was not used to seeing Lucy oh, Lawless shit, in that that's light. That's right. That's yeah. right. Which, by the way, I don't know if you know this. Lucy Lawless, she won the war between who had who who is the 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 better person oh, yeah. between her and Kevin oh, yeah. Sorbo. There's a reason why everyone likes Xena better than Hercules, the, the legendaries or journeys or whatever the fuck. Lucy Lawless 100%. is a whole champion out here. Like she's actually yeah. like legit. I was like, bruh. You know, you she never did, wanna, yeah. she did sell that girl. She did sell that girl uh in the scene I'm talking about. Oh I'm yes. Oh no, hundred <laughs> percent. But, but I'm just saying like you <laughs> It's like you know what? Honestly, I I I know her as Lucretia. Fuck yeah. that bitch! <laughs> like no, and but, Lucretia. Uh, <laughs> they, they, that was that. She was not a good person. No, no, <laughs> she was not. And I, so like, but but you know, like once again, when you see somebody in a certain light, and that's all you're used to seeing for a while, you look at that person. You're like, oh, I bet, man, I don't want to look up nothing about them. I'm probably gonna find out they're problematic. But then I go look her up, like. Oh, she's a whole ally. Okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. She cool. she is super ally. Like if you looked up super ally on Urban Dictionary, you see a picture of Lucy Lawless sitting up there just with her with her fist on her hips, like in that supergirl pose with Kate flying in the wind. It's like, oh yeah, she's like she's for everybody. Like she's like, yeah, every yeah, I'm fighting it's for upsetting. all upsetting. <laughs> it's upsetting that that age is a thing. Yeah. Because even though I'm not saying like she's not you know, bad. The it's not about her looks, but she's an older. She's middle aged now, right? Yeah. Because if she was younger, Bruh. how dope would it be to have a Xena, uh, who was, who's the old girl with the that just you know the Disney beep boop bop got fired. Oh, um, she was on Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gina Carano. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wouldn't that have been dope to Bruh. have fucking Lucy Lawless in that role instead? Dude, you know I, I mean? even said like, it. I actually, I actually tagged her in that shit. Uh, I was like, I said, see, I, said, I was like, Disney call up Lucy Lawless. And if I remember yeah. correctly, I mean, she and liked you know it. what? <laughs> you couldn't. Oh, really? I think so. Oh, that's dope. If I remember that's correctly, I think she liked it, but it, no, you know, obviously nothing came you just, it, but, yeah. you just changed the character, like, type. You just changed yeah. it, like, okay. So it's not like a, 
like in their prime, she could be like a like an older wise badass that's still fucking people up, but she's also you know fifty five or whatever she old she is. You know, oh, she's fifty five. Damn, I nailed that. Um, oh yeah, that lo- I loved. I, but yeah, actually, you know what, man? You know, I, it's funny that all this is coming to because I actually recently went back and rewatched Spartacus, and that very uh, scene you're talking about, I just skipped it. I was just like, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the beauty of like being able to go back and rewatch something you've seen before is that when I get mm-hmm. the shit like that, I just skip like a, uh, like, yep. like case of point, the movie we talked about earlier, I spit on your grave. It's a movie mm-hmm. that I like, but it's not a movie I yeah. enjoy that watching. Scene is fucked. Yeah. yeah. Like it's like it basically what I do is I start the movie. And when that scene comes up, I literally skip to the comeuppance. Yeah. And it's like, cause, cause I'm going to tell you, it's brutal. That's just fucking brutal. Have you seen part two? No, I, I have not. Part two is like this got everybody talking. Let's do it worse. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, Don. That, Levester, yeah. Levester. That's what I yeah. wanted to bring up. Um, I'm oh. pretty comfortable. This is something that I want to talk about next week. Okay, yeah, we can talk um, about next week. Let's let's put because, it on the dock because I. I don't really do identity. It sounds weird, you know, especially the way we describe the show and shit, but I don't do identity politics. I don't, you know, but what I do do is, is, um, is I acknowledge where my limitations are with my personal experience. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm a 43 year old man, black and Brown, uh, because I'm Puerto Rican, my family's out of New York. There's a, you know, an, a, 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 an interaction here. It's not like I'm a white Mexican, you know, with, with nothing but white friends. Right. But I, I'm not black. And so the reason why I'm glad you brought that up is I saw the, uh, I saw the, the trailer and I saw a very interesting mix of reaction. Yeah. I heard, I saw dope. I saw this is going to be hilarious. I saw more black stereotypes. Why, who the fuck greenlit this? I saw people mad. I saw people and it was, it was, I mean, you know, black conversation. I'm just listening. I'm like, huh. Okay, so I want to talk about it. I want to see what the what the audience is uh, yeah. you know, feels about it. Um, yeah, this is. I yeah. think it'll be a good conversation, you know, because I I definitely you could tell in the well, we'll talk about it next week. I just tell that yeah. they were coming for something deeper, and I was caught off guard by why there's so many stereotypes. I'm like, oh shit, what am I missing here? Okay, yeah, so it, oh yeah, I, yeah. We'll we'll definitely talk about that. Uh, we'll th- we'll talk about that next week. And I'm going to say in the meantime, your homework, everyone here in the chat is to, if you have not done so already, watch Spartacus. And and, and I, I challenge you because I think it's, it's a fantastic it is, show. Yeah. It is yeah. a, in, in spite of itself, it is a fantastic show. Yeah. It's a little dated by now, you know, today's standards, mm. but I feel like it had a story to tell. It did a fantastic job in telling that story. It's only downfall is an over-reliance on trying mm. to sell sex to sell mm. the show. That right. is my yeah, only definitely. issue with it. Would you say it's fair to say, this is sometimes what I tell people, but, y- you know, you, you like the show a lot. This is what I tell people. D- mm. Do you like 300? Yeah. If you like 300, this is what I tell people. If you like 300, you'll probably like Spartacus. Yeah. Oh, because it was very if much you, trying to be like it. <laughs> if you, it was because it had just come out near then. So there's the slow motion shit that, you know, if you hated 300, if you thought it was stupid and Zack Snyder fucked it up and like, ah, I hate shit like that, then you will hate Spartacus. Yeah. Even in spite of the fact that it has a fantastic story, I think narratively speaking, yeah. it is far superior to the thing that it's often compared to. But mm-hmm. yeah, I, like when people tell me they don't like Spartacus because oh, it's just too much sex and shit. I'm like, <sighs> just get fast forward it then. Yeah, you're I'd right. Say, yeah, fast forward past that shit. The uh, especially if you like history because it's not accurate. No, it is definitely like a silly, you know, drama and shit. But very loosely based on history, and it actually gets into the Roman slave rebellion. 
and uh and and the gaul what's his name um crixus yeah spartacus crixus these are based off of real historical people yeah um so i thought that was pretty cool i thought that was cool don't use it as history it's not real but no it's kind of it's like very very loosely like <laughs> all right, you, we'll kind of go in this direction and then we're gonna do whatever we want on top of it <laughs> if, if, you, if you have to do a book report on like spartacus and you use this as your source you will yeah. fail that's right. You're right. You will yeah. fail. You'll get, a, you'll get a You'll get an F plus. Yeah. <laughs> like the plus is going to be because you have good taste in television. But like yeah. the, the F is going to be you because you clearly didn't put any effort into this. You said you said, oh, Crixus, Gauls, Rome. Everything else is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like that. There was likely a doctore, but um, yeah, this is all bullshit. Uh, <laughs> but no, yeah, all, all that said, I will say, uh, you, uh, I guess I think who, who took us out last time? Was it me? I think it was me. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah. yeah, I think it was me. So you, you, you take us out. Ladies, ladies, gentlemen, and NBs. That is the end of the show. Uh, I'm Robo. This is Ernie Blair without fear, of course. Uh, and this is uh, Nerds of Coaster. I already said that. Don't forget to uh, check out the links in the description and check out uh, Blurred Cave on Saturdays, Nerds of Culture, uh, Nerds of Culture next Thursday. Don't forget your homework. We got to watch Spartacus. We got to watch Spartacus. Yeah. yeah we got to do that. So, you know, until then, uh, you know, I'm just going to say that um, for for the chat, for Robo, for Cypher, who is uh, here with us in spirit. I am the Blur Without Fear. And you know what? Man, I'm having a hard choice of who to say, who to go to hell. So you know what? Everybody we just talked about earlier in the show, you know, Ed Pisker, uh, Dan Schneider, Brian Martin. Peck. Yeah, James Marsden. Yeah. You know what? Nickelodeon as a whole, you can go to hell.